Hello and welcome to Trucking Answers Live. It's Monday. We are back and it's going to be cold. I want to thank Trucking Wife for being in first today. I appreciate it. And uh, for those of you that don't know, I have a screen below where I look at comments. So I'm not trying to ignore people. I'm just trying to keep up with the comments. But it is good to be here today on Monday. It's very snowy uh, out here in Lafayette, Indiana. So if you're out in the Indiana area, be careful. What is going on, Mad Maldi's out there today? Trucker Hershey, are you going to arrive Thursday? You better have some uh, anti-gel. Everybody better get that for their fuel. Uh, Gub Scout is here in from Massachusetts, where it's better than it is here, uh, certainly. William Richardson, yeah, I see that uh, the roads on Google Maps are all red. So uh, everybody should be super careful. It's 34 right now here uh, and wet out, but it's going to have a hard freeze tonight. Uh, Joshua the Tanker, what's going on? Uh, Amanda, hey, what's happening out there today? Ryan, oh, it's good for you to be here. You always missed the show on Monday, but uh, you're here today. Brandon, uh, Jared is back. That's great. Uh, Mike Wilson is here. Ivona, welcome back in today. You were on a Friday. Thank you for being there. Going to Arizona from uh, Illinois. Good. Get the heck out of the weather today. Certainly. Yikes. That's a good run, too, right? Uh, Esteban, uh, Southern California. Well, it's going to be uh, 14 below here. You probably won't have that problem. Big shiz. What is good? Yeah, that's what I'm always saying every day. What's good out there? Yikes. Charles Cross. Uh, you should have listened to me. <laughs> okay, well, about what? Uh, hey, Al, what's happening? And what did people think about the uh, Friday show? I know some of you were on there. I just popped in Friday, went over to Red Classic Recruiting. I thought, hey, let's see if these people want to talk on uh, on the show. And they're like, uh, yeah, I couldn't believe it. So we did the show, got some questions answered, and I thought that was pretty good. You got everyone that came on on Friday was able to get questions answered from an actual recruiter right there. So uh, how did that go and what did you think about that? So uh, Jesse, not yet. I go in in the afternoons. Uh, Charles Cross, okay, right. There should be a crap company in the month. Yeah, there should be one of every day almost. Uh, Ruth, uh, Gary and I are glad weather-wise to be in California. Yeah, I bet. I wish I was with you there. Yeah. I hope you like watching the show. I appreciate it. I appreciate everybody being here. Believe me. Big shit, should you go to Western Express? If you have a bunch of felonies, you know, I recommend it only to people if they have problems. If you got problems and you can't get on somewhere, they'll take you and at least get you some experience. You're going to get poor treatment mostly and really low pay, way lower than the average, but you'd at least get experience. It's a way to get in. If you can get somewhere else, no. It's like second chance. I got to work, so this place will hire me, that kind of thing. Then maybe it's worth it. Uh, Kay Wayne is in San Francisco. Why is everybody in California when it's freezing cold over here today? Just to aggravate me. Josh, no. Trucking wife was first today. Yikes. Just show one of the trucks at the pilot in Lowell. Oh, so you're at the 240 up there. Nice. Was over there over the weekend. Anybody who was on my Instagram, you should be on Instagram, right? Went to a 60s concert this weekend with the wife. We go every year. So I got to uh, go up there with that and uh, sit in the third row. That was pretty good. Brady, 16 and 30 from north of Columbus, Nebraska. That is about what it is here, really. Richard, what's happening? You're actually on a waiting list for Red Classic. Oh, really? So uh, what are you going to do in uh, Mem in uh, Memphis? Are they going to, are you going local, regional? How's that going to go out there? Because they had all kinds of different uh, things to do. Uh, big shiz, you got six preventables. Um, Western may not even take you. You may have a problem, but. If they'll take you, then yeah, you probably have to go there. Mike, uh, what's new? 34 and su su SJ, Southern Jersey. Let's put that. 30, uh, mid 30s here as well. What am I called on Instagram? I'm called Trucking Answers. How about that? I have an underscore, but if you look for Trucking Answers, I'm on Instagram as well. There's not many people there. It's not like I'm on there every 20 minutes posting or anything. So uh, there you go. But I'm out there, a few hundred people out there. Uh, bad weather, uh, you're going to go all the way, run all the way up 77 to Cleveland. It's coming right across there, so good luck with it. Hey, Mark, Greenland, New Hampshire. What's going on in Greenland today? Are you going to get this weather tomorrow? Hmm. 
you make you want to make your pickup truck a hot shot? I don't know, but I will tell you who does know Jay at the Trucking Answers Nation at the <laughs> Jay, like he works for me. Jay over at Auto Transport Intel. What am I thinking about today? I'm all frozen to death over here. He's on live on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Central, and I would recommend uh, watching his show. He deals with all that kind of stuff. Uh, am I still boycotting Gillette? Yes, <laughs> apparently so. Uh, Denver's bad. I agree with you. 77 is difficult in good weather. Yeah, exactly. Who wants to go to Cleveland even in the summertime? What do I think about Walmart offering 90000 I did see that, right. They're a slip seat. I don't like slip seating a sleeper. And uh, like we've talked about on the show, I don't like the idea that Walmart can get your phone records. That's what I really don't like, is that they can request and get your cell phone records. So that's the thing that bothers me the most about Walmart. That's more intrusive than a camera. Your phone is your record of what you did the whole month, uh, you know, on the phone. So I think that's worse than the camera. But if you don't mind slip seating, you know, being at the bottom of the list, the pecking order, I assume that's how it goes there to start with. And giving them your phone records, uh, go for it. You know, but if that wouldn't be something, that's not something for me. Money isn't everything, although it is something. Uh, you have your air running your car. When it's freezing. You got skill on a big ego. That's all some people need, right? So, uh, home does a preventable staying your DAC. I don't know. Uh, the DAC doesn't work like other stuff. You can go to uh, Hire Right, H I R E, HireRight.com on the web and get a copy of your DAC that way. And uh, you should if you're if you're concerned because the only thing that's on there, that's all you should really put down. Another perfect day in Arizona. Yeah, always out there. Depends on the part, but where you are, uh, Mr. Penske, it is super nice out there. Bluish, what's happening? Yeah, that phone record, Ivona, that's terrible. I mean, <laughs> oh, we want your phone records, and you have to agree to it to work there at Walmart. Not my cup of tea. But maybe that's why they can't get people. They're offering 90 and can't get people. That's, uh, you know, that's part of it. David, what's going on? Daniel, it's fifth, gusting to 15 Kansas. Wow. Slip seating is no good. Yeah, Josh, if you have a sleeper, uh, slip seating, no way. And uh, so, but they do, they tell you that, right? I guess if you've been there longer, some people do keep their truck. But it is policy to slip seat the trucks when you park it. So you could go home for the week and that truck gets used on the weekend by somebody else. Or if you're not there, it gets used. I don't like it. A day cab is one thing. But to slip seat a sleeper truck, no. That truck ought to sit and wait for you. They shut down 70 on you at the Colorado border. Well, you get to uh, you get to enjoy the nice weather out there. 19 and clear in Idaho Falls. I wish. I wish it was just 19 and clear. This snow that's out here is going to freeze to death tonight. Over-the-road truck drivers should make 100. I totally agree. They should make 100. And we shouldn't have to give our cell phone records, be filmed, and all this other weird stuff that companies do. Buy a prepaid from, from Walmart and let them have it. You could. I don't see why you couldn't, but you should have to do that, right? Why should you have to do that? Comfortable man, what's happening? I'll come in. Why would they want your phone records? Well, they say they want your phone records for accidents. If you have an accident or something like that, they go, well, we want to look at your phone records, you know, to see what the story was on accidents. But, you know, it says on there that they can request the records anytime they want the phone records. So uh, I'm not a fan of that. Josh, am I ready for Wednesday? Yeah, look, I, I recommend it's going to be really cold here. We are expecting in Lafayette a temperature of 14 below zero. So leave the truck running. I will leave the truck running when I'm not in it the, for basically this whole week starting tonight. And I recommend everyone do that. I don't care what kind of anti-gel you put in it or whatever. Chicago, because uh, uh, I'm from up there, my family's there, 20 below zero is the temperature and wind chills to 50 below zero. Although the wind chill doesn't affect the truck, right? 20 below does leave the truck running in the super cold weather. Leave it running. APU, don't just don't leave the truck running no company should give you grief for that uh it's 40 and sunny in ogden utah boy i wish uh so that's the story for this week here leave your truck turned on and put the anti-gel beg your company to give it to you if they don't have it you're not a fan of the phone record i agree you have your own camera that's different that's your property right and uh I don't like it when they make mandatory cameras. I totally agree. The phone records, I've never heard of any other place doing the phone records. 
North uh, no, 70, 60 mile mark from Denver is not close, Rhino says. It's frowned upon to use the engine. Is it frowned upon? Yeah, I mean, it depends. You know, I'll put it on two or one generally. It just, I'm not going down, you know, Donner into snow without it, Jake, at five miles an hour. So I still use it. I just don't have it on full. You just got to be careful with it. And ice is your real problem. You can get some good traction. Like, you know, the snow here has been, had a lot of bite in it. So it's been really not too bad here at the moment. Have I heard of Schneider's apprenticeship program? Yeah. Uh, a driver wrote to me about that and got into it. They had it open in Indianapolis for a while and closed it. And then, I, you know, so I don't know if it's open back up, but they had an apprenticeship program where they put you through school and hired you and didn't charge you anything. And uh, he went through it and it worked. It was exactly as they said, got to go through no charge and no contact, but only did it here that I saw. So if they're bringing it back, uh, let us know about that. You did eight months with England. It's not prorated. That is the word. So in England's contract, which they just to be prorated, it, it isn't anymore. If you don't stay the because government is 53, you won't need a Jake break on 53. Yeah, uh, slick seating. You come to work, and the other guy's not back. About April eighteenth is Black Smoke Day. Truck drivers are not working. I think it w was it the eighteenth. I thought it was the twelfth. But uh, that look, it's possible. Yeah, that is coming up. We talked about it a little bit. It's still a ways away. We're supposed to take the day off, and uh, you know, to show the government really tell them what we want. Bluish hue. Those temps are horrible. Look, it's horrible just to be outside in it. But leave your truck running, please. You can have the same weather in Kokomo. Yeah, you know, it's only uh, it's not that far away, and it uh, it won't be any great deal out there either. And the roads, you know, they're going to get the interstate dried off before we get to 14 below zero. Your truck will not stay running. 2019 won't allow. Yeah, ours run. We have 19s here. They run. It's up to the company if the truck will idle or not. No problem, right? Our new ones run, and uh, I don't have one of the brand new ones, but they'll run, and uh, my truck will run, and it'll sit there and run. So it's the company, you know, all in the program, programming of the computer on whether the truck runs. Uh, France must work for Prime. Yeah, Prime uh, Prime Super Slow Division. Book the load to Sumner, Washington, 1800 bucks at 788 miles. What matters is the net, right? What do you net on that load? That's the story. You know, 250 a mile, but what do you net out of it? That's what's going to make a difference. Started your truck five times over the weekend and two forced regens. It was very cold. It won't stay running. It's supposed to. Told the company if it gels up, oh, well. Well, you're going to need a motel or something, you know, certainly, unless you're out of it every day, if you're home every day. Otherwise, even plugging it in, in my opinion, is not enough. Even if you're home, the plug is not enough at that cold. Leave it running. Uh, collecting is collecting escrow possible for damages in the future by these Chicago companies illegal? Yeah, I believe it is illegal, right? Because you know they collect it only if you're independent. Then they collect this escrow, but most people are misclassified. So if you're an employee, no, they can't collect it. But a lot of places do. You, they can't charge you for damages to the truck if you're an employee. They can only fire you, but they do it anyway. It's a big disaster in the industry. The misclassification, all this escrow, and all this stupid stuff. It's ridiculous, and it is. I don't know why this all happens in Chicago, but there's a lot of it going on there. Uh, MAGA, right? I think all companies should let the trucks idle. You never know when the APU is going to break. Yes. Why don't they let it run and then have a policy, an idle policy of if a few percent or whatever if you have an APU, and if it doesn't work, all you'd have to do is send a message saying it doesn't work and I'm running the truck. Simple. Then they don't have to worry about all this goofy stuff on the road. Because if you're at 14 below zero and the APU stops, what are you supposed to do? Uh, so what about this 100-mile slow roll? There was supposedly a 100-mile slow roll over the weekend. Did anybody see anything about it? I read that they were going to do it last weekend in Illinois somewhere, but I don't know if they did it or not. I never heard any more about it. Trucks were supposed to slow the entire highway down. That's a brilliant idea, by the way. And uh, But I never heard any more about it. GSXR, two weeks now hauling cattle. Oh, nice. Gorgeous truck. They usually do have nice trucks, really. Walmart Monitor complains. Although they probably would if you asked them. Hmm. Amanda, they still do. You're starting soon. All right. So it did go down. It did go down for a little while. Just need a form from your doctor. And 
a permit. So in Indiana, that should just be a test, right? If you're in Kokomo, you've been accepted and offered good pay. They're giving you some credit for experience. Yeah. And so this other person that went through it said they did exactly what they said they would do. So I, I let us know as you go through it, but I think you're not going to have any problems doing exactly what they said. They did exactly what they said, which is great, which is what they should do, right? Lewis Hughes says you get 78% after expenses with no benefits, right? Uh, who do I drive for? Oh, Michael has asked a question that I never get asked. So <laughs> that is great, right? Uh, as I say that, I don't uh, put out who I drive for, and that way they don't get to have a say in my videos. And uh, so that keeps them out of it. I'm, they're not in my videos. I don't have a say. They don't say anything. But also, I don't recruit for them. Almost everybody, every truck driver out here, oh, here's my number. Go call my company. Or I don't do any of that. Right? So I, I forego the recruiting bonus. Don't see where I work. And uh, there you go. But I've been there over 16 years now. So it must be an okay place or it's easy to quit your job. So there you go. But I don't tell anybody where I work. And that keeps them out of my videos. If they hear themselves, they'll be like, oh, well, Mark, now you got to do what we say. So I don't want them in the video. So that's why that is. Uh, so, so your terminal refilled your jug with an antifreeze. It went to put in the radiator and it was oil. Oh, okay. That's awesome. A cup went in the reservoir. Think it'll be okay? Yeah, I think so. Let's lube everything up in there. <laughs> it's the idiot places. Uh, Rita, I give out good info. I appreciate that. <laughs> you enjoy it even though you're not trucking. Oh, well, all right. Uh, keep everybody in front. I try to, and I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, you're broke down. You can't roll any slower. That's as slow as you're going to get to roll. Uh, I like my idea. If you want to idle, surrender your bonus. Well, not everybody gets a bonus. Like, I don't have one. I don't even like fuel bonuses. But in this cold weather, they shouldn't bother you about idling as a, oh, we're going to take your fuel bonus. I mean, 14 below zero, you want me to turn the truck off all night? It's not going to start, especially you sat there. Mad Maldi, Marion to Effingham. But did they do it? I read that these guys were going to do it. And did they do it or not? Oh, you what? Lindahl watched the slow roll, and it was a joke. Okay, they did it. Jared says, it was embarrassing. Maybe 25 trucks. Oh, pretty good. They stayed in the right lane. All right, because they said they had some idea that they were going to allow uh, ambulances to pass. That's what the article said. So 25, they got 25. That's how many they're going to get in April, too. 25 guys. Amanda's going to start at 44 cents there at Schneider. I thought it was a really good deal. No contract, uh, free training, and pretty good pay to start, right? Not bad. And they're going to do it. From what out of the person I followed him, and he said, absolutely, they did everything they said they were going to do. So, uh, Michael, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, this this slow roll thing. So, what did that do? So, 25 trucks roll slow. Did Is government changing what they're doing? And what do they want? What did those goobers want anyway? What do they want to talk about? I never, I couldn't really figure out what they wanted. Vape you brakes, use chocks, release the brakes, truck will idle. Uh, will it idle with the brakes off? Maybe. That might be a good idea. That might be a way to do it. Yeah. You wouldn't be able to uh, run the idle up probably, although maybe you could. because you. Pr that's the other thing. In the cold weather, if you could do it, hit the cruise or whatever when you parked and run the idle up, you know, a thousand at night or whatever, if it'll allow you to do it, please. The white night, you're here. Are you early? You're not quite early. Not too late, though. Your 2000 Freightline cuts off after 20 minutes, regardless of the shop, uh, to remove it. Okay, sir. Well, I mean, are you? it's in the computer. They can let it run, turn it off, whatever they want to do. Don't chalk an 80,000 pound. Look, it doesn't seem safe. I agree with you. I'm just curious of whether that would work. It's not a great solution. The company should let you run the truck. 14 below, 20 below. I mean, what company would say, just turn the truck off? Carry good sleeping bag. Yeah, really good. One of those mummy bags. Hmm. Yeah, please, Amanda, keep us updated on that. I think you're going to have no problems there. And are you going to go tanker, Van? What are we going to do? Uh, you give me the trophy. Yes, their trophy is being is ordered right now. Yes, slow roll is a bad sushi day. <laughs> That's right. I wonder if any of those guys had sushi, or were there any women? May probably not. Fronting on the engine brake is not an uh, option in the new DT12, only because almost all the companies insist on molesting the software and not allow manual mode. 
Yeah, look, I have that DT12 in this truck as well. And so on one, you know, it's lower than the other gears. You'll have to determine on your truck. But depending on the hill and the road, you know, just because there's some snow doesn't mean that there isn't any traction. So it just depends on how you're driving. I do use it unless it's really slippery. You know, I'll still use it. It just depends, you know, on the specific situation. There's no way around the ambient temperature sensor. That's why ours run. In the cold weather, that's why it continues to run. You all know the white net was a cop. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh, stuck in Denver. Lost the load because you refused to run after the snow shower stopped. Yeah, not everybody stops. And so then they give they make you give up the load. I don't like that. That's why I like a guarantee. Because uh, you have to make a decision to drive on safely to get paid or sit through the safety but safety still has to be the priority i just don't like companies doing it i don't like it crst would tell you to shut off the truck well you can all snuggle the two of you you can always like i said on my on an instagram video i did if you just find an england truck just knock on the door and just there's plenty of people in there to snuggle it's plenty warm there's beds everywhere in that truck how many years experience don't they want 30 months i think i read 30 months but maybe it's less than that so it was a weird amount. Press, push in the red knob and the truck will think you're rolling bobtail. Yeah, I think that's interesting to try if your truck won't run. But it's, you know, your truck going to roll away. It seems a little unsafe. Oh, right. Don't ever set your trailer brakes in the winter at all unless you're at a dock or whatever as well. Only set the tractor brakes or you're going to be frozen where you sit. Most companies, most trucking uh, computers allow idling below a certain temperature. That's how ours works. At colder temperatures, the truck will run, and I'm going to leave it running. Has anyone off, uh, driven for Walmart that they're offering 90? They are offering 90 to start. They are. How long does your license have to be clean to go to truck school? Well, you can go to truck school as long as you have a license. The truck school doesn't care. The problem is getting the job, and uh, that varies depending on what has been wrong with your license. But generally, truck schools don't care what's on your license, as long as you have a license. So uh, GSXR says three years at Walmart. I think it's unsafe for companies to disable manual mode. They shouldn't do it, and I agree. Some of our new trucks are disabled like that, and I griped them about it, and uh, they don't care. They go, uh, that's wonderful, Mark. Now go back to work. So that's what they think here. 30 months accident-free, Amanda says, for Walmart. You might get lice snuggling up with them. But, see, they're warm as well. And they travel around you and keep you warm. So, awesome. <laughs> you can plug a 1.8 ohm resistor into the ambient temperature sensor. It will override the automated idle shutdown. All right. So, everybody, look in your uh, travel bag and get out your 1.8 ohm resistor and plug it into the temperature sensor. I think that is not going to go over that well. City and counties with no engine brake rules should be fined for having a safety violation. There shouldn't be a rule like that to because there shouldn't be a noise rule over a safety rule. It should be safety first, noise later. Don't buy a house next to a major street. But then again, people shouldn't just blast Jake brakes when they don't absolutely need them. Coming home at 2 in the morning, there's trucks rolling gigantic Jake brakes. There's no traffic anywhere. It's not like it's a problem. So... Trucks have to work together, you know, with cities. Your my, your license is suspended for a cell phone and seatbelt ticket. Well, you won't be able to go to truck school with a suspended license. So, But once you get it back, truck school will take you. But having a suspension, I would look at companies that I want to work for first before you, uh, you know, take your time into, the, into a truck school and then can't get a job in the industry because of the suspension. A license suspension is a serious problem. Uh, let's see. What are our thoughts on having a dog? Uh, yeah, if you want a dog, uh, get a dog. You know, up to you and the company, certainly. But just take care of it, of course, as you would at home or anywhere else. Walmart used to require 10 years experience. Wow, who would they get to work there now if that happened? Where I used to work, they used when I started many years ago, it was five years. It was five years, and they're, they'll take students now. So there you go. Rail, Rail said... In my elm have to be clean for two years then reapply yeah so that's a problem you check around companies first because of a suspension 
before you take the time because we don't want a lot of time in between truck school and getting on at a company because that'll be a problem too. So make sure you can get a job on the other side of truck school. Uh, is Yes, James, I totally agree. The uh, fuel economy, that's why they disable it. But I agree for hills and in the winter, you know, I don't like it shifting up if I'm trying to spin out of a spot that's icy or whatever. I want the wheels to spin. So they shouldn't do it. They sh That should be totally up to you. That's why they hire us as a professional, supposedly. But they're like, oh, well, we know better than you, you know. You'll get, lose your job and get charged for fuel. <laughs> Only a couple places charging you for fuel, right? Uh, Flavio, that's the, thank you very much. I wondered, uh, you know, if any, how that was going to go. Uh, they were just in town and I went over to talk to him and I thought, you know, let's put this out here for people to talk directly to a recruiter. Just ask questions and get a recruiter to answer questions right there on the spot. And uh, surprisingly, they did it. And so I thought it was going to be 10 minutes. It went really long. So I hope everybody got their questions answered from Red Classic. And if it's something you're interested in, you know, go check them out. That uh, that show's still up, of course, and uh, the, their information is in the description. So I thought they were doing pretty good on it, too. A lot of pay, you know, very little unpaid time, just what we're looking at. Uh, you had a dog for years, uh, but she was hyper. You're going to need a calm kind of dog that's not doesn't need to be walked every 10 minutes. Once your license is reinstated, you must have had a regular license for a year before you get your CDL. Is that state dependent? I've never heard of that for here. You know, Mad Maldi, if there's no engine brake sign, blast the air horn. There is no air horn sign usually. Please don't use your air horns. Does anyone know if they're on the job training programs for car haulers? Yeah, uh, road, uh, huh, boy, I can't believe in my extreme upper 30s. I can't remember my own video name. Anyway, I did uh, I did a video with a car hauling company, and uh, they'll train you to haul cars. So, yeah, it's in the list of my videos of companies doing it better. I can't remember their name. Shipex just turned you down with 24 years and no accidents. That's hard to believe. I mean, wh what is the uh, what do they say? Do you not live in their area? Why are they giving you grief over there? I got an email. We'll go email that guy. <laughs> that, guy uh, that guy emailed me. So... Uh, the last years you've been a yard driver. Shipex said eight months recent experience. Yeah. So there you go. Right. So you were a yard driver. They Most companies, not just them, don't consider that experience. I'll say if that's at a company that also does other things. So some companies have a yard driver and then they have road drivers. I would just say I worked at that company it, rather than saying I was a yard driver. It's not a lie. You did work there. So never telling you to lie. Uh, you have your got your CDL Class C license. We need to upgrade that to a Class A. How about a pet dispatcher? Yeah, somebody needs to dispatch the pet when it needs to go outside. <laughs> iPhone thinks the ship X says their truck's full. That'd be the only place, right? Okay, the white knight. How's the weather? The weather is okay right now. Mid-30s and snow. Roads are good. Snow stops later and then gets cold. Leave your truck running. Uh, you had a driver's license for less than a month before you went to truck school. I think you can go to truck school. You just w may have a problem with a job because of a suspension, right? K. Wayne, uh, yes, exactly. 39 plus. We'll put it that at that. Do I think a front uh, weather cover is needed for the upcoming Sub-Zero? No. Uh, they, we call those winter fronts, and uh, no. The owner's man in the truck says no no matter what the temperature the truck figures it all out it needs the airflow for the turbo and the intercooler and everything and they've all engineered it so no so absolutely not not putting one on the cars not putting one on the truck although i did on a ford fairmont i had years ago but uh that was some time ago do i think the cost of pulling one truck off a runaway ramp would buy a lot of fuel for them yeah i agree it ruins the truck too the ones that got seven feet of pea gravel in them that's deep your truck is ruined as well generally you're waiting on the blizzard in alabama are you gonna have a blizzard down there in alabama holy mackerel they'll close the whole state just an fyi millis has increased their pay rate again nice and allows pets under 50 pounds and 30 percent match uh for 401k though that place is given uh bonuses and raises left and right all the, now they're going to be providing a pet pretty soon. 
Amanda, it's raining in Kokomo. Yeah, right. We warmed up here in mid-Indiana, so changing over. We have like a sleety slush. The cat's watching it for me, and uh, later, this will all freeze, so we need to get the roads cleaned off. It's worth keeping the endorsements if you don't have use them. Yes. Get all your endorsements and keep them, even if you don't use them. You never know when you'll use an endorsement. Kokomo, Michael, Kokomo, Indiana, Central Indiana. Walmart in Coleman, Alabama, starting drivers at a 105. Wow. And I do believe, if you don't mind, a Northeast draw called Woodlands Tour. It starts at 110. I'll uh, forego the $5,000 and stay out of the Northeast. We're running the APO all night be enough to prevent diesel gelling. Not in my opinion. No. I don't think so. Not at that cold. I want the whole truck running so it uses fuel. The vibrations of the truck help it and turn the idle up on the truck also. That's what I think. I don't think the APU is enough at 14 or 20 below zero like Chicago of ambient temperature to keep it from freezing. And anti-gel in the tanks for sure. As much as they'll let you buy. This is some, this year they said be some of the coldest weather we've seen in 20 years here in central Indiana. So get and put the stuff in your car. Look, I ISO heated the cars up. I do my winter windshield washer fluid, which I have a video about. I added extra alcohol into the windshield wash fluid to keep that thawed out. It's going to be really cold for a couple of days. Uh, they use the front covers on ice road truckers. They do. That's, you know, that's 50 below zero, 60 below zero. And, but they do use them. I agree. I'm not a fan. And the owner's manual of the truck says no. Do not use them. Uh, after 24 years, did two years as a yard driver. Right. Shipex said no because the experience. Right. A lot of places want the experience right then, even though you have all this other experience. All I'm saying about that is if you're at a company that runs the road and has local and has yard, some companies do a lot of different things. I would put the company down, right, because you have to, and that's it. What'd you do? I drove for them, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, I moved interstate freight for them. So if you, in a yard and moving trailers that have interstate freight, you know, it's just, uh, you know what I'm saying? There you go. You have to ice skate to Indy in the V8 tomorrow. Yes, it's going to be a mess, but supposedly they'll be out, you know, salting and the wind is going to clear at least the interstates off. You drove with USX for three years. I'm sorry about that. Uh, hopefully you moved on to get better pay, though, really. They got you started, at least. Come up to Milwaukee and shovel your snow. It was really snowing up there. We just got the bottom edge of it here. Adam is uh, in from 44 West. Hey, what's up, Fatty? Fatty 2x4. What a great name. People will remember it. Build a fire under. We did that in Alaska. Be careful. Um... I don't really recommend building a fire under your truck. <laughs> okay. Kansas City, Missouri. It should be okay there. Just rain at the, or clear by now, right? It should have cleared out. Schneider's the best starter company there. They have a lot of good programs to help people get started. That is true. You have a CDL and you haven't driven for six years, but you have four years experience. Uh, can I still get a driving job? Well, here you have the same problem here that you don't, you have not driven for six years, so you'll have to start out somewhere as a new person, just like anybody else, although you'll already have your license. Uh, you've used a sale man or got one start at 20 below. With it off, right, but it didn't start on its own, right, Ivona, and so most people don't have those, like at a truck stop. That's why I'm telling people, at a dock, if you'll even filling it up, right? Leave the thing running. Do not, when I start that truck today, it will not turn off probably until Friday night. I'm not going to turn the thing off. Leave it running. It was 20 below in Ohio in 2016. Plus running North Dakota, wind chill is minus 40. The storm is nothing. Just roll. Yeah, 40 below. The wind chill doesn't affect inanimate objects. And uh, they said, I'm just saying the 20 years because they said that on the news. It'll be our coldest ambient air temperature here in 20 years. That's silly turning somebody down with years. I agree. It must be some insurance thing that said, oh, they have to have recent experience. You have all this experience. And so for a couple of years, you work in the yard. And you go, oh, I'm going to go back on the road. They're like, oh, no, you're a new person. That's crazy. I agree. It isn't crazy. But I'm sure it's something 
that they may not be able to do anything about. It's some kind of insurance thing, so there's nothing they can do about it. Uh, thanks, FL. I appreciate that. And I appreciate everybody being here, by the way. Clear and cold out there. Take the day off. You're going to have to take off three days if you want to avoid this cold. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Because we're going to be 15 below zero tomorrow night as well. And as a high Wednesday here, as of earlier, is going to be 11 below zero as the high on Wednesday. I-25 in Denver is six inches of snow and winds of 30 miles an hour. That's wonderful. That sounds like a great day. Everybody needs a park out there. Uh, is a CB still worth it? Yes. People don't talk on it, but you totally need a CB. Totally. You should. Everybody should have one. In the bad weather or whatever, you can get information. Totally. Everybody gets one. Always get an extra key cut for any new truck. That'd be tough at Walmart when you're slip seating, right? Any idea what the wind chill headed towards Billings? Well, it can't be any better than here. It's going to be cold. Get a scarf. Uh, do I mean like a new person start driving with a trainer? Yeah, you don't have any recent experience. With six years of no experience, they consider that no experience. I mean, it doesn't mean you can't find a place, but it's going to be a lot harder. You're hauling a load of motorcycle doors. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's a good way to put it. I've never heard it that way. Uh, won't you gel if you drive in that cold? Uh, not if you put the anti-gel and keep the truck running, right? But get that stuff in there right now and get so it's all through the lines, all through the filter, everything. Get it in there. Uh, Steven, yes. James, any new truck you move, you can... Any new truck movie just so you can leave it running. Freightliner uses Chrysler blanks. Oh, that's interesting. That's why some of the keys fit the other trucks. They don't all fit, though. There must be some, a few different ones because uh, somebody was locked down. He goes, let me try your key, but it didn't fit its truck, even though it's the same kind of truck. So maybe they use a couple of different types of keys. So, uh, uh, FL, yes. If you have all that experience, what is their problem? But it's got to be somebody saying, no, we can't insure them or something like that. That's the only way it works. If there any app that will do the Texas hours of service on oil field, they should, it should all be in any app that does uh, logging. It should be in there, really. But if not, there's probably some specific app. Why wouldn't all the exemptions be in an app? Because they don't know what you're going to do. Hang glider field, that's another one. About to leave England. Two wings left. Excited. Two weeks left. Excited for the heck of the next chapter. Yeah, who knows what you can go on to. Make sure you're beyond your contract that that if the if you had one, so that that's all clear. You know that there's no question about it. The CB is one of the best tools for truck drivers. It's good. I consider it as important as having headlights. I also run a podcast on your channel. You talked. Oh, okay, that's good. That's a good pot. You know that'll probably go somewhere. The podcast. Truck, you're quite welcome. Uh, the topic, which has not been discussed yet, is uh, fueling. I've been watching some videos, uh, and there are people griping that they're sitting at a fuel waiting for their company to authorize their fuel at a place that isn't on their fuel route. And so I thought, man, if you get a fuel route, that's got to be the most ridiculous thing, where they say you must fuel at this truck stop only, one single place. How much time does that take out of your day and how much money do you waste on that? Just that would be enough not to work at a place that sends you just a specific place. They should at least say you can feel at any pilot. We use pilots or something like that or we use loves or whatever. Not where you have to only go one place because it might not be the right time to fuel or whatever. They should let you do that. The best would be with an open com data card or something like that. But at least, at least, oh, we fuel at any pilot. D don't let them decide that for you. It would be a ton of uh, disaster. Uh, no, Stephen, I'm not going to say I'm uh, right. Uh, what what I need is two trainers per student. Oh, yeah, England could reverse it and put two trainers in the truck and have one student, except they wouldn't have enough. People already wait weeks for a trainer as it is there. Does anybody else keep a spare key under the hood? No, but I have the one in the truck and then you have your one in your pocket. That's how I do that way. Death proof, great name. Yes, that's good. Anybody else keep a spare key? No, it's snowing in Laramie. That's unusual. 
You love Kurt Russell, right? Uh, if he's trying to escape from somewhere. Your handle is get a grip, grab your snow shovel. Yeah, you're going to need it here. Everything will be frozen that you try to get a grip on. The company you work for, uh, Mr. Gomez, said uh, you got paid for all your loaded and unloaded miles. Good. Now they say I don't get paid deadhead miles when you go home. Oh, and that you actually get paid how so good miles. That's a problem. And I'd say, well, what are you talking about? Here's the thing. Do they have a driver manual? And is it in there? Is any of this in writing? And go, deadhead miles to go home is different than unloaded miles. I do think, I think I agree with that. But this household good versus practical, it's time to have a talk with them. You'll be leaving three days after your contract is up. Got an offer from Knight and GP Transco and Barnon. I bet all three of those pay more than what you are getting right now, right? That's what I think. And where? And uh, if you want to tell us, where are you going to go and what, what are you going to be getting? What are my thoughts on QuickBooks for people with their own trucking business? Well, I, I don't do that much with owner operators. I mean, and I use uh, TurboTax. I assume you need, I would rather if I had a trucking business like owner operator or running a business, I'd want some accountant or somebody that deals with trucking, that knows trucking, all the ins and outs for all the rules and everything. That's what I would think. Uh Thomas, howdy from Phoenix. You fuel anywhere, anytime. So that makes it a lot more convenient than if your company said you must fuel at this truck stop only. And so then you pass it or sit there in line and wait. I mean, that takes time off your clock, which takes money out of your pocket. That They shouldn't micromanage your fueling. Uh, Mr. Gomez, you're done. Yes, I agree. If that's how they're going to be about it, then just find a new place and uh, hit the road. And then after you quit, tell them, hey, because you hosed me, that's why I left. You show only seven minutes for fueling. Well, Frank, what I'm going to say is you should show legal. You should run legal and show the actual amount of time that you fuel the truck, right? So whatever time it takes, that's what you should show. I will tell you this, because the thing changes itself, when I fuel, I just let it change. And then when you start driving, I just let it change back. So the electronic log, that's how I do it. You have a zip tied key. I have heard of people doing it. It would make me a little nervous. You work for Melton, and if you feel where you're not authorized, you lose a point, and it can prevent you. But do they only give you one place? So they give you a, tr a route for your load and one place to fuel, or do they say, we can fuel at any uh, pilot or whatever it is like that? How which, how does it work there? James Snake, yeah, that's right. Ernest Borgnine, too, right? Death proof, I agree. That isn't, you know... Trucking companies do this to drivers, and they're like, oh, well, we can't get any drivers. Everybody quits. Yeah, exactly. That's why. Because then he goes around and tells everybody else about it, too. They don't realize how fast information can get out. And most of them are bad at social media. Ivona, I totally agree. If you just run it legally, you don't have to worry about the minutes of it. I mean, and plus, look, in an audit, the DOT, so they go back a month on your logs. Every day, it's seven minutes exactly. I mean, how are you going to prove that? It's not going to be exactly the same every time. Run it legal. One in your pocket and one in your hip. Learn the hard way in uh, upstate New York. You should always have a key with you uh, besides the one in the truck. I think everybody, including me, right, maybe not everybody, but has tried to, uh, had to break back into their truck at one point. That's why I always have a second key. You keep hot hands on your truck. Ain't just in case of emergency. That's good. Schneider's household goods mouse. Ah, that's not great. So you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose part of the pay on household goods. I didn't realize they did that there. I thought they were on practical pay there. One Mad Maldi's got one under the hood, one in the ignition, and one in your hip. You're ready for keys. You're ready to get in that truck. Plus, I keep the doors unlocked uh, all day which also helps you can pop into the other side. Used to always pop, leave the vent window unlocked, but I'm probably the only one that remembers vent windows. Uh, concerning the driver shortage, do I, do I think it has to do with drivers failing the physical? No, I don't think so. Uh, there's no driver shortage. There's a pay shortage. Of uh, <laughs> That's what the problem is. There's no driver shortage. If England can have trucks custom made to have uh, three bunks in them, there's no problem getting people. They bus 100 people a week in that place. There's no shortage of people. There's a shortage of pay. 
the problem with the ambient temperature is the heat from regen. Yeah, when the truck sits, it goes up. But at 14 below, it's probably going to go up to zero, and the truck should still run. Montgomery Transport is doing it right. All right. You had a brick problem locking yourself out. You got to go into Love's and buy the lockout thing and try to get back in. You're going to Transwood in Hobbs, New Mexico and try out hauling crude. Oh, in the fields out there? Yeah, let's see how that goes. Coil shot. Yeah, you're welcome. Let's see how that is. So Knight is going to offer you fourteen forty four a week. That's a weird amount, right? Running Denver to Vegas. GP is $0.52, cents, but out four weeks. Uh, that's because where you live, right? Okay, because you're in Colorado. If you were closer to Illinois, you'd get back more often. Bar none offered you $0.51, cents, but out 30, home 7. Depends how often you want to be home, right? Either any way you slice it, you're 70, 60, 70 grand to start there. So, but night would be, I would like a regular dedicated uh, run for sure. That would be for me. I like doing it that way. So I know what I'm making. Otherwise, you never know what you're going to make. The DOT physical is getting ridiculous. You get an FAA physical and which one is easier? The DOT physical, I mean, they'll let 97 year old people buy a converted Greyhound bus motor coach and drive that around hauling a 28 foot trailer. But here you want to drive a pickup truck with a hazmat placard. You have to go get a DOT physical. That's crazy. You keep an extra key duct taped under your flatbed. I switch to Gorilla Tape. It's the toughest tape on planet Earth. Copyright. <laughs> they are not. Gorilla Tape does not sponsor this. Looking for your W-2 form. Yeah, there should be out. You got a few more days to get it. We're told where to fuel in the amount based on a route. If we have to get somewhere else, you have to send in a macro. I don't like that. I don't like it. They should say you can fuel at any loves or any J or whatever it is like that. But saying fuel here oh, and the amount, come on. Get 82 gallons. Come on. That That's garbage. That could waste so much of your time. So much of your time. Zip tie is the key in the battery box. That's not a bad idea. Best CP, right? <laughs> That's a, we all know the best one of those. You work for First Fleet. All right, what do you think? So you like them. They pay good. Mountainous household goods and they hose you on the fueling. Oh, Amanda, you remember the vent windows? I had them in a car. So uh, <laughs> I've had a few cars with vent windows. But in the truck, I would always leave the vent window unlocked, just popped unlocked so you could reach in and open the door. Dang it, Jared, you got keys all over the place. When you don't change your e-log to drive, it takes minutes away from your drive time. Well, I guess each one probably works different. When we sit, so if I sit at the fuel line and just get out, uh, it it goes. It takes a couple minutes to change, but it goes back to when the truck stopped. So, because I watched it one time to see what it does. So, and then when you start driving, it goes to drive from right at that point. So, I guess maybe it depends on the manufacturer. Okay, Wayne, you're in your extreme upper thirties as well. Yeah, that's good. So we're still feeling good about it. Ochiro driver should make 70. I agree. We should make good money, 100. Driver shortage, yeah. No one's fight parking after five. There's So there's no shortage of drivers there, exactly. Uh, FL, thank you. I try to keep up with everybody. Sometimes it goes pretty fast, so get paid for every mile you turn for the companies. You should. Household good is like the old way to do it. I have a video about that, surprisingly. But uh, really practical, at least practical miles. Schneider needs to uh, step it up here. But at least they're, you're saving the money on the contract. So I guess one way to look at it is you're saving five, maybe $7,000. Hey, Peterbilt 379, what's happening down there? <clears throat> you're going to come up here and experience our 20 below zero? You got a Peterbilt 379 wrecker with train horn. That'd be great. Yeah, you're going to be needed out here, here uh, in the next few days. Premier makes fifteen to eighteen hundred a week and home every week. That's excellent money. Ninety up to ninety grand. Out thirty and seven days home is a good deal as long as you give me a salary on your own time. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna do that. <laughs> okay, thanks, uh, Mr. Gomez. I appreciate it. Thanks for popping in here today. I hope you find a new place. <laughs> Diamond Dog wants a rent. Nice. The owner op told me that long hood trucks uh, save better fuel. Pff, yeah. Well, that's probably better than a big sleeper. If you can afford the big sleeper, you probably don't care about fuel as much. 
pure flat batter. This micromanaging thing where they give you one place to fuel, how, how much easier would it be if you could decide where to fuel? Uh, car cab over 85 Freightliner. Oh, yeah. The uh, old cab overs, they all had them. You don't get paid for fueling. Most places don't pay to fuel unless you're hourly, which is not most places. You don't get paid to fuel, even though you should. Uh, if it's not Schneider, then don't drive for that company. Schneider is number one. Uh, I don't know if they're number one. Uh, each company would be individual to a person. I don't like the house so good. I didn't know they paid that. But I still think it's good that there's no company, that uh, no contract there. Yeah, I've owned it. You can always change. That's what people don't seem to realize. When they're at a bad place and they have eight years experience, you can work somewhere else. What's the best company for less than a year? I think bar none will take you six. I'm not sure about that. Maybe Martin. They're six months. They're six months at Martin. JB Hunt pays hub miles. I'd be surprised about that. Nothing much. You might get some snow tomorrow. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's why it's 20 below zero here. Did you miss the giveaway, Super Trucker? Yeah, it was last week. <laughs> that's why you own your, that's why I do your own gig, exactly. So uh, there'll be a new uh, giveaway coming up soon, though, and it's only announced on the live show for people in the live show. I don't put it out anywhere else. Otherwise, there'll be a bunch of people gliming on just to get the, uh, to get the giveaway. You heard 18 speeds get the best fuel economy? It's all in the gears, right? It doesn't matter how many gears you have. It matters on your gearing your final drive, all that. Where's where's your RPMs at speed? Schneider's a bad hoss. I don't know about that. Barnett will not pay you during your seven days home. I didn't assume so. Most places don't. So it's a year at Barnett. Maybe check out Martin. There's tons of other places. What do I think about driving sweeping driver sweeping trailers out without pay? Look, drivers should get paid for all your time. If you're on duty or driving, you should be paid. Remember, sweeping out the trailer is on duty time, of course, right? That is, of course, logged on duty. And so to get paid for it, you'd have to log it on duty. If you're going to go off duty, then you can't complain about not being paid when you're not actually working. Turn the key and press the button. That's an old way to do it, right? I remember hitting the key and then thumb starting the trucks. Josh, yeah, some companies are good at one thing and bad at another. It depends what you need out of a company. Being gone three weeks and home a week or four weeks, that might work for some people and works out fine for them. It doesn't mean it's bad. It's just what they do. And so then you have to decide, do you want to do it? Oh, it's 73 in Phoenix. Super nice. What's my opinion on Ozark? I don't know anything about Ozark trucking. Hub miles, but you only get 800 to 1,000. The last week hurt, you only got 11 loads. They pay, um, so you're on containers or something there or something else. They pay a lot of all this extra stuff, right? Ozark has driver cameras. Do they face you or face out? You're home every day. Oh, that's awesome, right? Jay Cannell, what's going on? Welcome to the show. I'm uh, live every Monday at 1 p.m. for people that don't know it. And it's a, it's a great show, if I say so myself. <laughs> but I'm live out here every Monday at 1 and a rapid fire. Prime uh, takes over their drivers and leasing. I'm not a fan of leasing at all, as everybody knows. No, mostly they don't make more money than a good company driver at the end of a year. I should do a live show with owner-operators willing to help people go owner-op. Yeah, you know, here's the thing. And I've been emailed from a couple people about that kind of thing. I'm a company driver, okay? And so... I like the company driver model. There are plenty of people that do talk about being an owner operator that have tons of experience in it. I don't. And, uh, you know, I'm certainly not much of a fan of it, even so personally. And so I just don't, you know, not being in it, I just have never really thought about doing an owner operator type of show and certainly not lease owner at all. Ozarks face both ways. So we got to face out the door. Even though I said, you know, it's not 100% reason not to work somewhere, they would have to have a really compelling reason to have you come there. It would have to be above and beyond with the other things to accept the camera. If it's just average like everybody else and then the camera, then it's a no. There are places that have a camera where I'm like, okay, the camera because it's so good otherwise. But, you know, that gets a big scratch off from me on them. You know, they have to really do really good on a lot of other things. 
45 is good. Yeah, 45 isn't terrible for a student. That can be more. Part of it depends. You know, will they get you home? Will they do what you need them to do? Maybe they have better insurance or there's other benefits. It depends. Make sure it's not split. Yes. Cedric, you're welcome. Mills has changed your policy on front-facing cams. They uh, stopped the driver-facing camera a while ago if that's... Uh, you know, if that's what we're talking about, they do not at Millis, they don't. Pay. I think for the first uh, little while, year, something like that, it does face you, students, it gets faced, then you can turn it off later. You know, if Swift is willing to turn the cameras off on the drivers, I mean, what are these other companies thinking about? Ivona, I exactly right. Stay in the lane you're in. You're lease purchased with quality carriers and it's been good. You make two to five thousand. Uh, that's certainly not net. If you're netting 5000 a week, you're certainly not driving by yourself, so it's hard to compare that kind of thing. That's the thing. And I'd like to see, and for all people, and then they'll say, well, I make this. Well, I want to see four checks in a row, you know, every week, every week, and what you net. And then, you know, we could go through what it would take to match a good company driver. Like, I get five weeks off a year, okay, a vacation plus paid holidays. So you'd have to take off five weeks all your benefits, you know, that's why I say at the end of a year, it'd be tough to match a good company driver that sticks with a company based on benefits, because that's how it would have to be even if you want to see you make more money. Sure, you make more money on any benefits, you know, so that it, that's what makes a lot of the difference in the check. There was a driver and his family to eat dinner over the engine of the truck. Hey, yeah, I've cooked in the Boy Scouts, right? We cooked on, on the way to camp all the time in the car. So I don't know about that. So it tasted like gasoline. Delicious. Premium. We could just change the taste based on the uh, change the taste based on the fuel you put in the car. Love it. Uh, do I work for Crete? No, I don't work for Crete. Uh, you've been with Crete 15 years. Oh, nice. And they stay out 30 days by choice and get paid practical miles and grossing 80 and no camera. Yeah, you know, I've talked about Crete and I have a video up about them. I like the place. They actually have a terminal in, what, three miles up the, up on 9th Street or it's like a little drop yard or something. And Schaefer, same way, Hunt, right? So I'm in for Crete, absolutely. Avoid Schneider, is there crap? I don't know. They get mixed reviews because they're a large place. And always remember this, that, uh, you know, a large place, the more people that are there, they're going to get more reviews. And the more reviews, they're going to be more negative reviews. Because, look, if you go somewhere, no matter what it is, store, and you have a fine experience, you go in, buy your thing, and leave, you don't put a review. But then if you go somewhere and you're treated poorly or work somewhere and treated bad, you're more likely to post. So when when I see a, just some negative reviews, there's always negative reviews everywhere. Uh, let's see. Uh, trucking companies run like this. Great pay and home time and great equipment. In home time, you're in an old truck? Nah, you know, it depends. Are you willing to take a little older truck for better pay? It depends. I used to heat up beanie weenies. Yeah, they're delicious. You got to, here's the thing we always remembered. You got to crack the can open a little bit. Otherwise, you get an engine full of beanie weenies. <laughs> and back then, that beans would go in the carburetor and stuff, and you had to clean them out. What a mess, right? Creek carries one of the better carriers. I agree. <laughs> You'll net 2000 for every five thousand you make, oh, that's what you're saying, net two thousand. But we have company drivers making a hundred grand here, so uh, and I'm seeing Walmart's done ninety thousand for a company driver. That's eighteen hundred a week with full benefits. So even even Walmart. So it's not that much more money for all the risk that you're taking. So if then if we change that to net versus net with benefits, it isn't any more than a good company driver makes. Is that what I'm saying? You're helping out a terminal and they're guaranteeing you five uh okay that's you so you're doing a special thing it's not their normal thing either right you worked for walmart for a year good we've been i've been waiting for someone to come in and say that slip seated for six months but have a truck now that's what they were saying over time you might get a truck this is a good company for growth was thinking about growing for prime or werner i don't think i'd leave walmart to go work at prime but i don't you know i don't like slip seating a sleeper and i don't like the phone the cell phone. I'm just out. That's enough for I, I say no. A company that wants your cell phone records, even if they say we're not going to take them or whatever, I mean, they could. You have to agree to it. So, no. 5,000 a week, you've been up there a month. Exactly. Gross. But you're doing, that's not their normal thing. Ivona, I agree. I wouldn't leave. Where would you leave to go work for Prime? 
it's like dating how much you can take before you leave so before you do date a company do lots of research yes and if they ask you to sign something and then you sign it you signed it, you agree to it so right up front you have to say no you're not getting my cell phone records you don't get to look at all the psychiatrists that i have to call to deal with you people every day that just isn't right uh you have more freedom and that's it uh because of the what you're doing yes those smaller carriers care more about their drivers and are faster at fixing a problem not necessarily it depends if they're so small they may not have time to uh money to fix their problems you net 800 a week home every day uh home every weekend but you're in a 12 cascadia that's not super old i mean your trailer's a 20 year old rental well that's a problem and i hear you i pick a lot of those junkers up every day i hate the old trailers you just found the other day walmart has a grocery dc in auburn yes that the u.s express handles if the noobs want to get walmart no walmart drivers are domiciled it's not bad working for walmart on from another company People write to me from all these large mega carriers all the time and say, oh, I work at, on the Walmart dedicated and love it. So that might be a better way to get on the Walmart. Cell phone records, buy a spare prepaid. Uh, you're going to buy a prepaid phone. <laughs> but uh, look, you shouldn't have to do that. You know? Yeah, you'd rather keep your phone records private. I agree. I don't like that they can get them. And so if you actually gave them this blank record, what do they say about it too? I need to find that out because I know somebody that works there. Hmm. Walmart, you need three years. Yes, they do want a lot of experience with a good record. Walmart is paying their drivers 90. They're running ads for that right now. I hear a lot of drivers leasing trucks because of things like child support. Oh, it helps them hide because they're independent and they don't pay uh, themselves anything. That's interesting. That's interesting. But, you know, I guess they'd have to start a company. They'd start some LLC and then have themselves as an employee and pay themselves like no money out of it. Why don't they just pay their child support? How about that, guys? If you owe child support, pay it. They're your kids. I I'm always amazed at men. Oh, I want to be a great father. And then, oh, here's some child support. Oh, I'm not paying for this kid. It's your kid. Pay. Pay. Forever. People are griping about it at the truck room. Oh, I got to pay child support. Yeah. Pay. What do you think? Jay Cannell, cell phone records. Okay, Walmart uh, makes you sign when you go to work there that they can ask for and you must provide your cell phone records to them. Now, they don't just take them every month or whatever, and it depends on the terminal because I know a person that drives there and I've talked to them about it. But uh, they can get your cell phone records if they want them because you agree to give them to them. And so that's enough for me. That's worse than a camera because the camera only monitors where you're at work. The records are your whole life, forget it. It's not worth the money. You know a guy that makes way more than 90. Some of them there, I bet if you've been at Walmart, you make more than that. Yeah, Jake can know that, that is true. And uh, ask Walmart drivers, and they all say, oh, it's only in an accident, that's what Walmart says. But, this, but it says, if we ask for them, you must provide them. It doesn't say only in an accident or anything else. You get, they have to provide them. Desi, right? That is Walmart that does that. Uh, they can't find out about a prepaid phone. If you get in an accident, a lawyer will find out about it. Oh, in a big accident, you have a problem. You have a problem. Lawyers will get your phone records. But I don't like that they can just ask for your records and you just have to provide them. Uh, you've delivered to Walmart in Smyrna in and out in under three hours. Is that good? That seems like a long time. Oh, Edward asks who I drive for. That's nice. I don't ever get that question. So <laughs> it's just a running thing here if you're not on the show, right? I don't say where I work. That way, I keep them out of my videos. They have nothing to say about what I do. It's my time. And so I don't mention them. I also don't recruit for them. So many people out here recruit for their company. Oh, here's my number. Whatever. I don't do that. Okay, so I'm not recruiting for them. I get to say what I want. So there we go. And so they stay out of it. I've been there over 16 years, though. So there you are at one place, which is unusual. Walmart has good dedicated with Target and will take students. Yeah. Werner, same thing, right? Getting on a dedicated run at a large carrier, you get the best of the best of benefits, and then you get like a feel of a smaller place on a dedicated. So I think that's the way to do it. 
James pays it, $24. X and I make about the same amount of money. You still got to pay it. The court say you pay it. Right. Uncle Cracker pays his support. Of course, many men gripe about it. They do. Walmart is going to all automatics. All the trucks coming in are automatics. That's going to be everybody, right? Get your experience in a manual. I, I do tell people to try to get a manual at truck school. It's harder and harder to do. I don't think it's that much of a holdback now with the automatic endorsement. People are even advertising that they'll take the uh, restriction. I shouldn't say it's an endorsement, but uh, they're taking the restriction. So I think in a few years, it won't really matter at all. Driving a 10-speed with a casted lower leg. <laughs> right leg is pedal ambidextrous. Wow. I can't believe a company allows you to come in with a cast. They pull them the last of every month. From what the driver said that we know said, Walmart doesn't pull them every month, at, but they can ask for the records because you have to sign for it. If you lease, are you considered an owner-operator? I don't consider you an owner-operator. An owner-operator has their own truck, bought it outside of a company. They're not renting it from a company. They have their own authority. That's an owner-operator. Truckers need to go back to using the CB. I totally agree. Uh, Alex has the best comment of the day. I appreciate it. Uh, they want the bonus. Yes. No, you're a lease purchase driver. Yeah, you're renting the truck from a company. That's what you're doing. You're renting your truck. Eric, automatic or manual? Yeah, I don't care. I drive an automatic now for years. All our new trucks are automatics coming in. There's a few manuals left, but they'll be gone within a year, and I don't think we'll see another manual here. You don't feel like driving a winner's profitable as a company driver? Depends how you're paid. Probably profitable for ABF drivers. They get paid by the hour. So, Or if you get a minimum. I get a minimum daily guaranteed pay. So run it or not. So it just depends how you get paid. You got to work your payout so that you can make money no matter what the weather is and stuff. There are ways, plenty of ways. Ship X is another one. You have a salary. They have eleven hundred and something dollar salary. So there, there are people making money. It depends. The NSA will get your prepaid. Just waste your prepaid record. Certainly, the problems and frostbite. The problem that's going to stop your pay. You can't cash your check because your hands are frozen. CBs, FedEx won't fix yours. <laughs> Who pro at least they're providing a CB, right? I mean, very unusual to have a CB provided. Hundred something dollars, go get one. You trained in a manual, tested a manual, and drive every day in a manual. Some people still have them. They they'll never be totally gone, just like in cars. But they're not going to be there a hundred percent either. If England has three bunks and a driver with a cast is actually an improvement, <laughs> yes, and they do. There, I have not done a video, but there are tons of videos out there now on YouTube. Just type in CR England three bunk truck, and there are people that show you around their truck, and the inside of it is basically all beds. They fold down from all over the place. It's the craziest thing. It should be illegal. I don't even think it should be allowed, much less have them do it. And if you go, I went on Freightliner's website to see if I could order one of those trucks. You can't configure the truck on the website like that. So they must have a deal with Freightliner to order them and have them made just for them. <laughs> if you don't work, you don't eat. Exactly. Uh, you prefer a standard. Yes, a lot of people do. They would rather drive that. The auto stick was crap. Yes. The ultras are much better. They've much improved now. Come on. They have creep mode. You, they're not all weird shifting. They're way better than they were. Being restricted to an automatic uh, handicaps you with the more premier companies. I don't know if that's true anymore. I'm seeing a lot of ads that say, we'll accept an automatic restriction. I'm just not sure that that is a big problem as it used to be. What if you lease eight trucks and hire drivers? Are you still not an owner operator? No, you still rent trucks from a company and, uh, you know, and have people drive for that company. And you better hire, if you hire drivers, they're all W2, right? You have a corporation, they're all company drivers, you provide benefits to them, like paid holidays and vacation, health insurance, all that, I'm sure, right? The yard you work for is unionized, they get paid for it, see, so they get paid. They're going to get paid. Your elbow and rotator cup prefers an automatic since you're driving a 13 speed. It could help people stay in the industry that might not have otherwise be able to. So it might be a benefit to some people. Ivona drove a stick with a cast on your arm safely. I can't believe a company allowed it. Right. I, and safety said it was okay. I was really surprised. 
oh, they don't want to get have you paid to get sit at home. If you had some kind of accident, what kind of lawsuit would that have been for the company? Some lawyer would have said, are you allowing this person to drive with a cast on their arm? I'm really surprised. But uh, that's something. 44 cents a mile gets paid get paid for sleeper and get paid for their 34 hour reset. That's good. 21 an hour after an hour. Quality cares. Getting paid in the sleeper is unusual. Let's give it to Walmart also. They do that. Uh, Jay Cannell, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Manual is much nicer for getting out of a rut. You can rock. Yeah, it's faster to rock. You can rock the automatics. Turn off the traction control. Turn off the hill start assist. Put it in fifth and step on it. And then brake. You know, takes a second, but back and forth. So you can still get out of a spot. You can. Truck drivers like to complain. Yes, much <laughs> about many things besides child support. Kenworth Rider, it is 57 in Florida. Wow. It's mid-30s here, but uh, we're going to drop another 50 degrees here in the next couple days, 40-some degrees. Uh, Peterbilt doesn't uh, got to the point where you can't send mega cares for one. They don't hire good drivers. Well, they don't want to hire good drivers. And they hire drivers that don't know how to drive a truck without a computer. Well, that's because they don't teach people how to drive a truck. So they don't want experienced drivers, and then they don't teach the people they do get how to actually drive. And so then the people quit, and they complain that there's a trucking shortage, driver shortage, uh, which there isn't. If you can put three people in a truck, there's no shortage of anything. You left the company. They had shady policies. I, I can't believe they let you come in in a cast. You had to have been super surprised and like, go ahead and drive. I mean, there's just no way. There's just no way. <laughs> Garage arts, Okay. All right, I'll leave that out there for you. It's 50 degrees in Cincinnati. Wow. So maybe it'll stay rain down there and uh, it won't turn into snow like it has here. Uh, child support fathers man up. step. To, yes, look, pay your a lot of work to just not pay the support that you're supposed to pay, right? Three people on a truck means we have a shortage of common sense. Well, they get double the money. And if you watch these trainers who have done these videos, they talk about uh, how much money they make. Because at least the one guy in his England video says he gets $200 every time a driver graduates out of his truck and another 100 when they get their CDL fully. So instead of 200 and 100, now he gets 400 and 200. So he doubled his money. They doubled his money without you know really increasing their costs. So the trainers all talk about, oh, how much money they're making. None of them really talk about how great this is for the student. It's much more helpful. They'll look, none of that, right? It's all about money for the trainer. So they're just everybody there, top to bottom, is in it for the money, except the students who are being shortchanged out of training. And then they quit the industry when they didn't have to. If they'd have been at a better place or got better training, they'd still be in the industry and have a great career. It's really sad. That should be outlawed. Uh, disarm or farm and shoot brinks. Hmm. Mega cares are like puppy mills. They rotate through the trainees to keep their pay because people don't know. You know, people just don't realize that three people in a truck is not the way it's supposed to. Uh, it's not the way it's supposed to be. Where did Peter about three seventy nine? He's going to get experience. I've owned it. Yeah. I mean, how surprised are you going in a cast and they're like, "Go take this load." Uh, you know you made it as a YouTube celebrity when another celebrity as Jay Cannell is watching you. <laughs> well, look, I'm no celebrity, okay? <laughs> Let's just put that. I'm a driver like everybody else, right? I'm not a celebrity. <laughs> That's, I'm no celebrity. I don't go out. There's not paparazzi following me around or anything. No celebrity here. Just a driver talking about trucking. Jay Cannell is the celebrity, not me. Believe me. Uh, generalizations are usually wrong. Speaking, ge they generally are. Generalizations are wrong generally. Jay Cannell is cool. We got Jay Cannell love. How about that? People love you, sir. Got to go drive. Michael Keegan, thank you for coming in. And, of course, we'll see you on next Monday. Do guys with Peterbilt's know everything? Yes. Don't guys with Peterbilt's know everything? Some of them do. Except how to back in at a tight spot, which is always where I see the problem. They're always like, oh, I can't even back in. I can't. What the heck? Right. Because your truck is 900 feet long. The driver shortage is just a way to push experienced drivers out. A great exchange for low-wage students to keep their rates down. 
the more people they get in that don't make a lot of money, it holds the pay down for people at the top because they can replace you with somebody who makes half of your pay. It's just a way so they don't have to actually pay what people are worth. Totally agree. And they've got the media has bought in on it because none of them know anything about it. So sitting for free is slavery. I totally agree. I may have a shirt like that on Teespring, he said. 379 was around before the dinosaur. Yes. Do other drivers ever recognize you for your channel? No. Uh, no one has ever recognized me. So uh, because I'm not a celebrity, one, but no. And I fill up every day at the loves and stuff. So no, no one has ever said a word to me. Uh, it's Michael. I'm not, uh, maybe, right. Not really a celebrity here. Mark for Teamster president. Oh yeah, I don't have time for that. That would probably take a lot of time. Uh, when is Trucking Answers clothing line coming? Oh, Eric, it's already here. It's at Teespring at Trucking Answers. It's there. So uh, there's shirts over there. And uh, there's going to be a hat soon, too. I see they're selling hats. Maybe so. No, no celeb. Right. A great resource. I'll take that. And I do appreciate that. Uh, and everybody can write to me. That's out there, too. Mark at uh, truckinganswersnation.com. Write to me, right? I write back to everybody. Got a question that needs a little longer time or whatever? Write it out. See what I can do. Uh, would I consider collaborating? Yeah, I, ha I do a work with Jay from uh, Auto Transport Intel. Uh, been on his show. We've been on a show, Trucking Business Freedom. So, uh, yeah, absolutely, right. Mark wears sunglasses in the summer. I need to look cool. I mean, you got to have the cool look. You got to... You gotta be it. Gotta look good out there, okay? Even better, right? W nine hundred is a better rig. Years ago, I had a W nine hundred L. It was nice, hard to back in, gigantic. I, uh, I wonder if you've come across because I've been running Indiana a lot. You might have. You might see me up and down there. <laughs> so, uh, sweet, yeah, hat, hat's coming, right? The beard, Ivona. You've put my secret out there. I, I thought we would keep that, but just between us. Long hood pizza are the only way to go. Yeah, for some people they are. Uh, will I ever do Crab Company of the Weekend? It will come back in a different form. Uh, starting probably this Wednesday, depending on how the weather is. So I make sure I get back. Sitting at your kitchen table looking at the hot tub is open, but pool is covered. Oh, warm time is coming. What do you live in? Some kind of resort? Who, do I have some... Uh, you're the celebrity. Hot tub, pool, holy mackerel. Uh, hello. Hey, what's going on? Amanda and Rody. Yeah, what's going on out there? Thanks for coming in, and it's good today, cold tomorrow, as they say. Uh, wish drivers would stop filming, criticizing new drivers, and help them when they struggle. Yes. Why are we filming people that are <laughs> have backing in problems? I mean, oh, I'll film this guy. Look how hilarious. Did everybody start just backing in perfectly? I mean... You got to start somewhere and people are not being trained well. We should film the trainer. You know, why aren't you training people? How about that? Do the rubber bracelets. I didn't know if that would go anywhere. I don't know who would wear a rubber bracelet around. Uh, you go to Illinois and Wisconsin. It's going to be called leave your truck running. I was saying that earlier. I will reiterate that starting basically tonight. Leave the truck on if you're anywhere where it's super cold. Don't turn your truck off at all. Get your anti-gel, put it in the truck, leave the truck running, get your winter washer fluid ready. I have a video about how to make winter fluid. It's an it's from like a year ago, but it still applies. Uh, get that made right now so that that doesn't freeze and get it ready. Get ready. Creep motors for creepy drivers. Yeah, it just automatically goes on that when I get in there. You need, need to go back to making trucks out of steel, and then they will get uh, four miles to the gallon again, too. That's what will happen. <laughs> There's no class in fiberglass. Bracelets are made out of uh, rubber material, we'll say, right? Amanda, hey, thanks for coming in, though. I appreciate it. Stay warm. And let us know how it goes there. I'm really curious. Some days you could back in like you're on rails. Look, some days it goes good, right? And then some days... It's just a crap show. You're like, holy mackerel, what is going on? So you just never know how it's going to go. Yeah, you remember when you were new. Look, everybody started somewhere. We didn't all start with 10 years of experience. I mean, so people have trouble backing in. Yeah, you don't want to hit anything. You're nervous. Maybe it's their first couple weeks out. I mean, have a little heart, you know. Schneider gives one few location. I don't like that. It's just... 
it wastes your time. So you, what if there's a line there and they maybe they're having problems and you have to get off and you go see this line? Wouldn't it be better if they said you can fill up at any pilot or flying J, that kind of thing? Or wouldn't it be even better if they give you a card and go, here, you can fuel any you want that takes this card? That saves the company money. These companies don't realize an experienced driver can save them tons of money. So they pay a dime a gallon. I'm only there 10 minutes instead of at an hour to place. It's just crazy. Remember before cell phones? Yes, although I did start getting a cell phones in 1990 from Bell South Mobility. And it was like, I don't know, a dollar or dollar fifty a minute or something. It was crazy and it barely worked anywhere. And uh, I still have that bag phone here somewhere. So we need to make engines the way we used to make. If it isn't broke, don't fix it. They work good, right? I mean, people want it the old ways. You want to drive around a 1974, uh, you know, Mac or something? Not really. Same with a car. People, oh, I like the old cars, but they don't drive them every day. Like at 14 below zero, your old car with points, right, is uh, not going to start probably. Whereas we'll go out and most everybody's car will start in the morning here. You're an agency driver in the UK. I wonder what that means. Do I have them over there? Is that like a uh, temporary service or you work for a third party that is not the trucking company? Is that what you mean by that? supposed to be freezing temps and ice in the southern states yes be safe they don't treat the roads yeah they just let it sit there and melt the next couple days so if it's bad park don't risk it you're not delivering a, a liver to someone you're delivering just regular freight get out and help us stop watching yes if you're videoing then you yeah you can go out if you have time to video you have time to go help somebody change the industry everybody has the power wherever they are to change the industry for that person for that one person you can change their industry that what if we all did that how great would it be then uh it's nice seeing an old school truck in a world dominated by cookie cutter aerodynamic but people just don't run them you just can't make money at four and a half uh miles per gallon even the owner operators that are watching here no way four and a half miles a gallon right no they're all shaking their head no Mm, bag phone, shoot, 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 yes, a bag phone. It was a phone in a bag that you could sling over your shoulder. I'll have to get it sometime and show it on the show. And it was attached to a gigantic bag, half the size of a briefcase that you held, you took with you. It plugged in the cigarette lighter. That's how you powered it. Or it had an external battery that weighed about 20 pounds. But uh, otherwise, yeah, bag phone, absolutely. Okay, so temp driver. They do have temp services here in the United States for trucking. In large cities, they're quite popular. So, uh, and they place people at companies. You can stay there a week or month. So, absolutely, it's a good way. Especially, I recommend that for people that write to me and say I'm retired, but I'd still like to drive. Go sign on at a temp service because you can decide when you want to work. Pro drivers in Indianapolis is a large one. There's lots of them, and you can just sign on and just work there whenever you want. I see these ads. They run a lot of ads here. That's why I know their name. But there's, there's all kinds of optimum driving solutions, lots of them. Took a 10 in a pigeon coop at KY, paranoid night. Uh, it was bad, right? So it's not going to get any better. Let the roads clear off a little bit. I'm seeing the snow is melting out there. They can fly in livers. Oh, they can fly in livers. Okay, yes. But I'm saying that I agree, right? And uh, you're not hauling anything that absolutely has to be there, okay? It probably doesn't. Are there any good trucking companies in New England? Probably, right? I mean, how many people live there? You, but if you're going to stay in New England, it's got to be hourly for me out there. It would have to be hourly. Too much traffic. Find something hourly plus overtime and you got it made out there. That'd be better than anything else, really. Uh, you, we have temp drivers. Yeah, Ivona, I think most large cities, right, probably have these large temp service companies that uh, will put people to work right away. The cold is following you. Well, turn around and go the other way rather than coming up here. Do I think the 14-hour clock will be gone in the future? I don't think so. They like the 14 and 10 because of the 24 hours. That's what they're thinking. They think everybody drives 10 or works 10 and then has, you know works the 14 and has 10 off. That's what they're thinking. So that's everybody does the exact same thing in trucking. That's what the government thinks. So you have your 24 hours. Everybody works one exact day. Everybody sleeps the same time which if you look at the truck stops in the evening, like we talked about, that uh, is almost true. 
but I don't see it going away. They have temp companies running ads in Memphis. They're all over, right? So if you want to come here from England or whatever, there are temp companies that'll put you to work. I don't know about licensing and stuff like that, international licensing. Mark is an international expert. No. My brother and I just met on the road. That never happens. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Five people in the Northeast. It's a disaster up there, right? Hourly is the only way to be out there. So every big town has temp driver companies. Okay, so yeah, any large city should have temp companies that will put you to work. You live in New England and there's tons of traffic. That's why it's worth being on there for hourly. So if you can do it hourly, yes, right? CPC Logistics is a good temp. Okay, so there's another temp service, CPC Logistics. I know there's got to be tons of them all over the place. If it was up to you, trucking would be like how it used to be when you had real drivers. Well, I just people are only steering wheel holders because they've been trained. All right, and those a lot of those real drivers are in the ditch because they're all I can drive in anything, and so then they drive off the road. Right, me, I'm parked. So if it gets too bad, I, you know, I'm no super trucker out there. I park it. I'm not uh, risking my life or anybody else's life for freight, and nobody else should either. Breaking news, Trucking Answers is now hiring drivers with ankle braces. Yes. Due to quiet truck arrest now. Yes, exactly. That, that day might be coming here. I'm always waiting for the knock. It took me almost your whole clock to get through like 400 miles on the East Coast. That's the thing, Al, right? But if you're paid on the clock rather than mileage, it wouldn't be so bad. That's why yellow people for yellow, not yellow drivers, but people that work for yellow and uh, people that work for companies that are being paid by the clock, you don't see them sweating it too much. Uh, snow, uh, go slow, ice, no dice. Oh, we have rhymes for everything. Yeah, if, look, once the truck, I always say this. This is my, like my policy for me. At half the speed limit, if you can't manage half the speed limit on the road, you probably should park because it's going to take you forever to get anywhere anyway, and it's really bad out. Now, out west, some of the roads are 80, so that's still 40, but... You know, here, 65, so, you know, thir if you're down to 30, 35 on the highway, it's probably really bad. So, depending what's coming, that's when I start thinking, you know, maybe it's time to park it and uh, see what's going to happen in the future. You saw a cattle hole that went through the median and into a ditch in Wyoming. That's horrible. Pretty sure, uh, yeah, him and all the cattle did that too, right? What's a real driver? All of us are real drivers on here. Back in the day, uh, truckers would drive in chain laws and only chain up when they lost traction. I'm not a fan of driving. If they put the chain sign up, you know, I'm parking it unless I'm already where the chains are. So otherwise, park that thing. Uh, so when you get your CDL, you should look for hourly. Yeah, because you get paid for all of your time, too. And make sure you get overtime. It isn't required. So you want a place that's going to pay you overtime as well. I could drive in anything. Let me show you this ditch. Exactly. Exactly. What are people trying to prove? Drivers need to quit leaving bottles in the truck stop parking lot. Uh, yes. That <laughs> It's crazy. I don't know why they do it. They leave them on the fuel line. They leave them everywhere. It's disgusting. And you know, here's the thing. Somebody at the truck stop has to go pick that up. What is that? You want your kid working there doing that or your wife or something? Come on. You know, you're going to be disgusting like that. At least throw your trash out. Shelly, paid by the minute. Yeah, isn't that the way to go, right? <clears throat> R&L will train you in Massachusetts. That's good to know, right? And uh, as long as they pay you hourly out there, that'd be really good. Uh, Michael, yes. Doug, uh, to my to die, deliver uh, medicinal. You should, that's, that might have to get through. People couldn't wait for that. Uh you should have five years experience before your trainer. Yes. I think trainers should have five years uh, minimum experience to, to train people. And want to train, too. I've heard of companies that make you train people. Who would want to do Why would you make somebody to do it? Do I use a Jake in the snow? Yeah, I do, right? I'll turn it down. But, uh, you know, you can still get good bite on the snow. So it just depends. As long as there's some traction, if I need it down a hill, I'll turn it down to two or one. But, yeah, I still do. I know they say don't use it, don't touch your brakes, don't do anything. All right, baloney. It's each individual case. So it depends where you are, what the road condition is, and what you, you know, your abilities and experience are. Eric, it's 
disgusting. The driver should be fired. I wish we could catch them doing it and have their uh, have their you know CDL withheld. The real drivers of truck with old school values. What are those? What's an old school value? Hmm. Up there, there are others too. Yes. Oh, you can, you can mention. Yeah, go ahead and mention them if you want. You can drive a 2018 Cascadia. I hope so. I have a 2018 Cascadia. I figure I'm at least a driver a little bit. Okay, who does this in their truck then throws it out the window? It's a problem at Walmart parking lots. Look, it's I don't even know what to say when I see that stuff. I'm like, really? You know, this is is this how you live your life? Is this their home life? You know, is is that person then going to go and slow down the road? Take the day off in April and gripe at the government that they're not treated like a professional. Oh, I'm a professional driver, right? I mean, is that that's the same kind of person that does that, that thinks they're not being treated properly. And believe me, they're being treated more than properly. Seen a whole gallon of lemonade sitting right next to it. Yes, that's the hope that's what it was. And who saves it for a gallon? Oh, how long does that take? Don't use cruise. I do turn the cruise off in anything but dry. So even if it's raining, I have the cruise turned off. But I will turn the Jake down to two or one, depending on the conditions and what's going on. Oh, pure flat better. I'm sorry. That was here. Maybe we can get the governor to do something about that. Oh, Al. Al is uh, the going to be the poet laureate of the channel. You would cheat the logbook to make more money. Yeah, I'll just make more money without cheating the logbook. How about if you just got paid more? That would be even better, I think. You're a slacker who dreams in the stainless steel couch. You can, So you can uh, do that without getting up. Well, you know, they have chairs that I've seen in Japan that are similar to what you're saying. Yeah, <laughs> super trucker. Nice, right? We in England have one snowflake and the country comes to a stop. Do they still pay you, though? Because uh, I know you don't get a lot of snow there. James uses Jake's on the snow the same way. Turn it down if it's too much. Yeah, I mean, it's individual, right? Where you are might be different from 10 miles down the road. It just depends what what kind of hill. I mean, are we going down Donner without Jake's or are we just on some little hill? It's individual. But, the you know, they should leave that for the driver to decide. I'm not one that says 100% turn them off. I don't think so. I do. I, the cruise is off. I'll go with that. Uh, 387, seven miles per gallon. That's not terrible. So I think seven is going to be the minimum to make money, if it, certainly if you own the truck. You save it importing your DEF. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> Old school is you, helping a driver's broke down using a CB, which you can't get anybody on the CB. Uh, and having the outlaw mindset. I'm, I'm out of that then, I guess. <laughs> You're so, I've owned it. Yeah. He's recycling. So, ironically, uh, environmentalists would like that, right? That's the truck. That's the political talk for the day. If you get your CDL permit first and go to school, you'll be miles ahead. Yeah, try to get your permit first. Usually, the first week that I've seen for the CDL schools, especially from trucking companies, the whole week is to get your permit. They do training and all that. If you can go in with your permit already, you are ahead of the game. And it probably saves you money. Usually, they'll let you in on like week two and give you a break on the cost. So if you can go to down there, all you do is get the book, study the book, and take the test. It's not The permit test is not that complicated. Break is not your friend when it comes to ice. All right, cruise through it. But be, be looking ahead, right? None of this 10 feet behind or whatever. Come on, Joshua, late. What's going on? At uh, hour 34, boy, it's the maritime for that. In Memphis, you don't get over eighth gear. You're not going fast anyhow. Top truckers in Europe make 2,000 euros a month, right, with the same cost of living as here in the States. Well, that's horrible then. I don't I don't know what the train, uh, the rate is today, but 2,000 euros cannot be that much money. Is survival cannibalism acceptable? If, if you are stuck somewhere, like in Wyoming, at one of those gates on the highway, and it's going to be time, I mean... It's survival of the fittest out there, you know? That's why you got to carry a good knife with you. You never know when you need it. What do you recommend doing with a huge cold wave? Leave your truck running. Anti-gel, leave the truck on for days. Don't turn it off even to fuel it. 
leave it on and treat your winter washer fluid. I have a video about how to do that. Uh, winter, winter, it's like a year old or something. Go treat that now before it gets cold because that'll freeze also. And leave the thing on. The first week is uh, getting your permit. Yeah, so you would save that first week's time. Okay, getting your permit saved you a thousand going through school. That's worth it, right? To pay what's a permit? Forty bucks or whatever. I've owned it. Don't shut off the truck and treat it with anti gel. Yeah, as much as they'll let you pour in there. I would double the amount if they'll let you get that much of it. And leave it on, please, people. Do not turn your truck off. Truckers in uh, Europe have no freedom in Europeans. Why I wonder why why the truckers in U.S. run older equipment. Most truckers here don't run that old of equipment. Some of us have jobs, yes. <laughs> you can do 100 on ice. Uh, it's just the stopping. The stopping is always the problem of it. The euro is close to a dollar. All right, so it's 2000 bucks a month. Forget that. There are people making $2,000 a week here. Look, at least 15 seconds ahead of you. Yeah, I mean, this is stuff we should be doing anyway, right? But be 100% on it in the bad weather. Europe forced all the drivers to buy new trucks. Well, that's what is what happened anyway, right? Who wants to drive a 25-year-old truck every day? And people say, oh, everybody does. I don't see them out on the road. Just saw Chain Up and Gary. Who's chaining in Gary? Uh, <laughs> where are we chaining in Gary? I was just in Gary uh, yesterday, Hammond, Gary area, for or Saturday night for the concert. It was, wasn't that bad there then. You give your wife 2000 a month just for whatever. That's just spending money to you, Mad Mally. That's just walking around money, as they call it. Is ice road truckers fake like Orange County Choppers? I don't think so. I think it's mostly real. A lot of it's probably set up for the show. By the way, every year that show is on, after probably two years, I sent my resume up there to uh, try and get on the show. Never heard back from them, and I guess the show's off the air now. So, never made it on. I thought it'd be great to go up there and do and drive up there but never heard from him i became a trainer after one month then the trainee teaches the trainer how to back yeah you can get a student then that teaches you how to back in it's uh it's pretty awesome uh, i see a lot of older trucks yeah because up here they're all rotted out and they can't tolerate our roads with all the big holes on them just make sure you ground yourself with when fueling with truck running Okay. Uh, yeah, I've never had a problem with it, but I'm just saying in the cold weather, do not turn the truck off. I won't turn it off for any reason. You haven't been home in three and a half months. Well, you need to get your company to get you home if that's something you want to do. You should have tons of days off saved up, though, certainly. You love the old cab over hot rod trucks. You see some of that stuff going down the road sometimes. Uh, everybody that drove a cab over Remembers the ladder system to get in, climb, open the door, and then climb up in there. Uh, just classic. But you just don't see them on the road anymore because that's not what we want, really. <laughs> get a new job. Well, if you want to be home, you can get a new job. You would tell James would go up and drive on the ice roads, too. I think it'd be great, wouldn't it? You know, to say you did it, I think it would be something to do. And uh, I sent it up there every year, but I never heard back from them. I bet they get thousands of people sending stuff up there and like, who's this goofball? So that was the end of that. Lots of trucks run old equipment and thrive. Well, lots of drivers go into debt. Yes, you can go into debt trying to fix your old truck too, but the new trucks ride $175,000 crazy. I don't know how you make money, you know, $800,000 a week. I just don't know how you do it. Not more than you would make driving a company truck with zero risk. Oh, if it's not gasoline, you'll be fine. Yeah, I don't, I don't think a spark is going to be a problem. I've never had a problem, but I'm going to leave it running. So if I'm not on next Monday, there was a spark issue with grounding at the fuel pumps. It could be a problem. I don't know. May trucking makes you pay for fuel. Oh, you could refill. I never thought about filling the truck up with uh, some other, uh, put some other thing. Yes. Yeah, what are those drivers going to do up here? They're going to have to run the truck. Should have sent me a pic. They would have hired you. I'll check that uh, when I get to uh, emails. Yeah, if people can send pictures or whatever as well to that email. Contracts, driver manuals, things they have you sign, any weird thing a company has, you know, whatever it is. 
So uh, you can all send that to mark at truckinganswersnation.com. When you go for a few-hour drive, you usually see one or two cab overs. Yeah, down there, right? They're just not up here. Maybe in Chicago, they're still running containers around in town, but I haven't been in Chicago for some time. You're not idling the truck? I mean, look, 14 below zero, I'm running the truck. You know, I'm not going to chance a uh, it not starting. Uh, Doug, I think you've misspelled that. Your thoughts on the use of a suicide knob and where to place it? I don't like them. The DOT isn't specific on it, but it does say that you can't put anything on the steering wheel to uh, impede it. Uh, so these are these knobs the, that you turn the steering wheel around with your hand like that. I don't think you need it anymore. I mean, unless you're in a spotter truck, can't the steering wheels turn easily. You can turn it with two fingers. You can two finger this uh, Cascadia I have. So. And I never used one. I'm just not a fan of them. So you'd have to place it for your use. They seem, my reading of the DOT is that they're not allowed. Uh, but it doesn't specifically say they're not allowed. I don't like them. And so that's what I say about them. Only good thing about back, cab overs is backing and maneuvering. Yeah, you can get in anywhere. What, 115 inch wheelbase or something? No problem. You see Ford semi trucks all the time. Yikes! Cab over is a widow maker. Well, at least you got the insurance. Optimized idle is no fun. So, uh, will they not let your truck run even if it's fourteen below zero? ABF freight still runs Sterling's. Man, they just keep all this old stuff around. In Memphis, they have eighties trucks. Okay, so the rail yard again. The rail yard. They're running these things back and forth on the rails. The trucks are not on the rails, by the way. It will shut off and the batteries die, and you had two jumps last week, and my tires melted in the ice, and I got towed. Nice. They should let you run that truck. Uh, Eric, yeah, I didn't think about it until I said it. <laughs> they make The knobs make no sense. All Only Walmart drivers use them. I don't understand what the point of them is. I see them every once in a while. I'll see somebody has one. I'm just not a fan of it. What if your truck has automatic shutoff and you idle for X amount of time in your 13 Freightliner? Well, look, it's all in the computer. So if you're in a company truck, which probably most people watching are, the company has to set in the computer that the truck is allowed to idle. Our trucks at a certain temperature, which I don't know what it is. It seems to be in the 20s. The truck will just will run if you just let it sit there and run. So if your company doesn't allow it to run, they have to go in the computer and change the settings. So it can be changed. I don't know how the company does it. They have to plug in. I don't know what to tell you if it won't run. I mean, it's crazy. Uh, there's a guy in Effingham that likes to sit at the Chrome shop and has a stretched out cab over. That's a great idea. So we get this small wheelbase truck and then just stretch the frame out on it. So has he got that pole in the back to hold the uh, air lines up to? As I see some of these guys. Al's saying below 29 and above 78. Is that how the factory sets it? So that might be why mine works like that. Uh, it just seems like in the 20s it runs. I usually don't have to run it other than below zero, it's going to stay running. And it would save the company money. That's way less than a tow or a jump or whatever. One finds a heavy brick and then place the brick on the accelerator. That won't work. I've tried that. I've actually tried uh, you know, that. And in the warm weather, it does not. it still won't run. So those 80s trucks run through the West Memphis scale. Oh, man, right. These trucks down in this Memphis running through the scale over there? Holy mackerel. The truck's older than the guy working in the scale. The P386 was a good truck a while ago. Uh, you have a knob and love it and can really get the wheel spun fast when turning. I mean, it's personal, I guess. I never saw the point of it other than a spotter, I guess. Plus, it's in your way if you have to spin the wheel and you're driving. Well, I got to dodge some prime truck every two seconds. It's going 54. So, you know, you don't want that in the way. Uh, yeah, if you're with JB Hunt and you go through every scale house, oh, because they have a bad rep? Often are truckers supposed to stop and get scaled. Every scale will st stop you. And I recommend, I say 40,000, but it depends on your truck. 
I think at past 40, I would cat scale it. So, but it, you know, it depends on you. You look at the load. What do you think? So it just depends. I think 40, I'd be worth cat scaling it to me. And that should do you the whole load. The new Cascadia has a battery mode you can set. How do you do that in there? I've never, uh, I think that depends on the company too. Most of the things in the uh, menu are disabled in our trucks. The guys in cab overs are good drivers. They choose an older truck. Yeah, they're good drivers. Anybody can back a cab over in. Should we idle or be running high idle? If your truck will allow it, run high idle. Run the idle up on the truck and let it sit doing that if, they, uh, if it allows it. In a cab over, you could put behind a car. You could pull behind a car and look down in the car. Yeah, I guess you can look in the back of the car. You shouldn't be that close to a car, of course. So they have JB's got a horrible rating with accidents. Well, then they're going in the scales. No green light for you. Does listening to Kenny Rogers make uh, less of a trucker man? No, that makes you more. But uh, I wouldn't gamble on it. Oh, uh, anybody get it? Just me, probably. They're like, this guy's a goofball. So truckers have to stop at every way station. If they're open and it says open, you're going in there, right? The company says scale everything. Well, then they better pay for the scale. See, I don't like that. Here's another thing. Okay, so if I get 18,000 pounds and they require a scale, then I have to go to the scale. That takes time. That's top money out of my pocket. You know, I, they shouldn't, they should pay you then if they're going to require you to do it. It's just ridiculous. That kind of policy is stupid. They hire you because you're a professional. You make the determination. Like here, they say, we'll pay for any scale. You scale it, we pay it. Okay, no problem. It doesn't matter what the weight is. I could scale any load. But if you get an overweight here, you pay. You as the driver are paying that because they go, we pay for every scale. They go scale it anytime you want. So, and I think that's a better kind of policy. You make the determination and then you eat the ticket if you get a ticket for being overweight because they would pay for the scale. That should be every company's policy. That's why they hire you. Supposedly, they go, well, you're a professional. We want to hire you. That's why they have you there. So, uh, shoot says 36,000 and scale it. I'm at 40, but uh, that's just me. But uh, certainly, your company, if you're a company driver, should pay the scales. And if you're a lease operator, your uh, company should pay the scales as well. It's their load. Uh, you don't go far with the containers. You can't go far in an 80s cab over, right? One of those big uh, Ford cab overs. Nice. It's a shame how the manufacturers have the computers, but that lets them start in the cold weather, same as your and, you know, an ignition coil anymore. Your company care. I had issues getting it started one time. So your boss told you to leave the truck and leave the truck run, which you should do, and wouldn't have to fight starting it. They, you know, it may be time to find a better place. They should want to fix it, certainly. That's a good short-term solution to let it run. But they should really want to make to have it fixed. According to Manny, the optimized idle, which is a start-stop system for trucks, uh, will only remain active if the outside temperature is extremely hot or extremely cold. It's imperfect. I don't like it. You sit there, you set a temperature in your sleeper, for those of you that don't know, and then the truck engine turns itself on and off and maintains the cab temperature with the heat or cool or whatever. It annoys everybody next to you, and it annoys you. I never really liked it. I've had them in trucks, and I haven't seen it for years. I actually thought it was gone until people on here started talking about it not too long ago. I just don't like it. Listening to Willie Nelson makes you a super trucker. Oh, Linda, I'll find one person got it. I appreciate it. Doesn't that uh, kill time having to stop at so many way stations? It does. If you have to go in, it does. That's why you want to find a carrier that's got a good rating so that you can get the green light on a prepass and bypass the scales and uh, save yourself time. Over a year, it's a lot of extra money. If you listen to Bob Seger, it makes you cool. Totally. Right. Back in the day, trucking manufacturers had to fight for your business. Not anymore. Now they have deals with all these large companies. Not Josh. No, really, yes. I guess you got the heart of an old school outlaw trucker. Yeah. <laughs> you, can, you can keep the outlaw part. Oh, Doug. Very good, right? Michael, I totally agree. Optimized idle is ridiculous. It's bad for you, and it's bad for your neighbors, too. Because then it, it starts the truck and runs it at 45,000 RPM to get it warm, and it turns itself back off. And it's going to be constantly turning on and off in this cold weather. The snowman off smoking the bandit. Right. 
Why well, he's a RIP to him, right? Why can't you just wear your load once and bypass? Uh, they they don't like that. Everyone they don't know what you did in between. That'd be a good idea though. I uh, say I already weighed back there. That's not how it works. You drive a sixteen Cascadia with a manual. That's unusual. And a hat and a one two clutch. The older trucks are from owner operators. All right, the six. I, when I was configuring that truck on Freightliner this weekend, it didn't give you an option for a manual. You had to order, you had to special order the uh, manual in them now. So, and you can go to Freightliner and configure your own Cascadia if you want to. I thought it was pretty interesting. Pick all the colors and interior features. Pretty good, right? Uh, just send an email with your back phone. That would take quite a long time to type that out on there. How Swift's rating? I don't know. Who's on here from Swift? What's the rating going on over there? Just take the backcountry roads, avoid the scale houses. It takes too much time. And they're not stupid. They know, realize that trucks that are going the roads around the scale are probably avoiding the scale. So then they pull you over there and make you drive to the scale anyway. It doesn't really save you anything. Shelly, yes. Bandit and Snowman, too bad for them. That's why I tell everybody, and you know, whatever you're going to do in life, go do it. What are you waiting for? Uh, life soon will pass you by. You told, you told the owner you were quitting over the optimized island and they turned it off. All right. Because it's horrible, isn't it? Let them sit in a truck that starts and stops like that all night. It's Prime the new Swift. No. <laughs> They're separate sides of a, the same monster. Don't you get a receipt for weighing your load so if you bypass a weigh station, just show the receipt. They're, they're not doing that. Boy, we all wish that worked, right? I just hold a cat scale ticket up to the window as I go by. No way, right? Not going to happen. Because they don't know what happened in between there. Let's be honest about it. Remember when Freightliner made real trucks? I remember when they were all horrible and shook, shook you to death. The classic XL. You're driving the hood shaking as you hit bumps. The doors are rattling off. Oh, my God. Way better now. Way better. Uh, was there trucker drama between RVT and his redneck enemies? I don't know. Uh, I don't follow drama on here, and uh, I really don't comment on other channels as well, so that I can stay out of the all the drama. And I didn't want. I did see that it just popped up that they were going to be on. I didn't watch it. Don't follow it. It's not drama. Is not trucking. I mean that there's so much of it on YouTube is just crazy. Let's get back to uh, trucking. You know, on YouTube, that's what all these trucking channels are right or are they huh uh cascadia with the temp sensor on the mirror move it all the way to the rock right unplug the sensor 85 percent will stay running all right that's not a bad idea if it works unplug it and it won't know what the temperature is so it'll just run hmm you may have to in this cold weather but don't get fired over it right don't do something you can get fired for keep that in mind swift is as good as any other mega carrier yeah i agree they're, they're as good as any other mega carrier. They have a lot of dedicated runs, just like a lot of these other places. And the dedicated runs get on a dedicated run and <laughs> stay on it. And there's really good. Uh, Michael, exactly. Keep that off of there, right? You want Freightliner to bring back a classic X XL? It shook to death. I mean, it was the end of all ends. Everything was terrible. Uh I would take a can I don't know about the blocking part, right? I wish we Cascadia would over a 680. I like it. We don't have any of those Kenworths, so I only see them on the road. They're all fancy and everything. The Cascadia, just for the lights. But in this kind of weather, right, the lights get covered with snow. So that's the other thing that I should remind everybody. If you have LED lights, check them out every time you stop. I see people pull on a fuel line, their lights are covered, especially their tail lights. Well, you know, you can walk back there and wipe your lights off, for crying out loud. Uh, I've owned it. Exactly. I mean, come on, people. I don't understand what all the drama's about. I really don't get it. Swift is horrible. Well, people, again, they can't back up because they haven't been shown how to back up. It isn't, you know, the people that can't back up, certainly. But it, the company should make sure that you're trained before you get out on the road. <laughs> yes, Doug, you were sending some bad Kenny Rogers humor out there, which I started. You're starting to see trucks from Mexico. I've seen some trailers from Mexico with that long license plate. I'm like, holy mackerel, what's going on? Hey, Dan, what's going on out there? People that don't know, we're live every Monday at 1 p.m. We, me, 
I'm live every Monday at 1 with all of you. Some dispatchers are idiots, yes, but that goes along with the population. You need to find one that will keep you moving, right? That is good. You like the look of the old Cascadia? You don't like the headlights of it, though. No way. The 680 ride is good, but the turn radius is junk. Yeah, see, every truck's got its problems. I never drove one, so I don't know. WD-40 on the taillights. At least you can walk back there. If you got out of the truck to fuel, and then they'll go inside and uh, get a roller wiener and then come back up to the truck, and then they leave, and I'm like, the back of the truck's all covered with snow because it's snowing. What are you doing? Can you not walk back there and wipe your lights off for two seconds? Come on, people. You put down your wiener and go wipe off your lights. That's what I say. Uh, Kenworth should bring back the T600. Oh, yeah, I had one of those a long time ago, right? Huh. Have I seen the 990? I've seen pictures of it. Yeah, it looks great. I don't know who's going to buy it, though. Off bug spray cleans headlights? Oh, right. Really? I guess because it's off, right? It keeps the ice off. Hmm. Josh, you can put whatever you want out on here. Get pre-pass. Yeah, companies should have it. If you're going over scales, I don't know why they don't get it. It saves them money. These things that cost so little and save money and make the drivers more money, I don't know why they don't have it. Individual. The Kenworth W900 is the best truck Kenworth made. The 990 looks ugly. I don't know. I mean, it's an update to the 900. All that's, you know, personal. You got to decide, do I want to shell out 175 grand for this truck if you're in it? You've been with your company two years and only had to sit overnight once. That's pretty good. I had less than three hours. That's really good, right? So some places, no sitting. That's the way to do it. CRST does not have pre-pass. Why not? Because the driver pay is so high and they can't afford it. That's what I assume the problem is. They're giving it all to the drivers. Because all the lux accommodations that they have for everybody there. Yeah, <laughs> step away from the wiener. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Put down your wiener and go wipe off your lights. <laughs> I think they're uh, free Kenworth less. They're free Kenworth less. My company doesn't pay tolls. They route us around them. Really? Who does that? What kind of cheap place? I mean, that takes you more time. And costs you money. So basically, part of the toll money they're saving, you're also giving back to them and pay. You can't travel as far. You know, now I just don't get it. It may a time to say, hey, why aren't we paying some tolls here? They should have a toll transponder and all that for you. Most companies have them. That's most companies have them. <clears throat> uh, don't work for short miles yet. No excuses. They're using technology. Look, there's no reason. That they can't pay you door to door anymore, really, much less at least practical miles. At least that's my minimum is practical miles. Anything less, I mean, there's no excuse. They can't really give you an excuse like, oh, that's the way we've done it since the four the forties. You know, that isn't that's not fair anymore. Uh, you get the tamales instead of wieners. Uh, yeah, I don't think they have the uh, same uh, structural integrity. So as uh, to a. Uh, to stand up to abuses. Yeah, I vote exactly. I mean, that kind of thing is not acceptable. No running, tolls, of scale, ridiculous. What is a wiener? They have a roller wieners at the uh, truck stop. They have rollers that turn, and uh, they put their wieners on them and uh, heat them up for you. And uh, sometimes they're on sale. And I see drivers get them all the time. And so this same drivers that go in and get them, they don't wipe off their lights, and they should. Doug, it's visually painful. Yes. Oh, the blue trucks. Right. That's what people call them sometimes, unfortunately uh, for them. But they're another place that has dedicated routes. You can go there and get on a dedicated route and maybe make some money and have a regular home time. What do I know about PC Miler? What do we want to know about PC Miler? I mean, are they paying you on PC Miler? And how close are your miles? That's the good way to find it. Drive the route and then see how close your miles are. If it's 500 miles and you got 400 miles paid, it's time to make a phone call. Uh, West Coast people don't eat anything that doesn't end in ORA. Exactly correct. I remember back when uh, Werner ran good trucks like the Big Pete's and the Classics. They can't afford it on fuel. It just, you can't, 
fill up the fuel in those trucks, do maintenance, and sometimes it's closed an hour. Class B, class A can't move. So you got to get paid by the hour if you're doing, you know, 12 miles in an hour is, uh, that's crazy. That's mileage, you know, no good and hourly good. Hourly plus overtime only for that. Ivona, yeah. The weenie wiener drivers, they're always out doing something. Uh, <laughs> you folks eat roller dogs? Yeah, sure. They're on sale sometimes, right? I've seen people get them all the time. They sold all. Yeah, Werner got rid of all those long noses like everybody else did because of five miles to the gallon. The Freightliner sentries were nice, but the round headlights, oh my gosh, at night, it's like driving through a cave with a match. They did, a lot of companies ran them for a long time, and you still see a lot of them on the road. And so people replaced the lights with those LED things and blind everybody. Uh, did I see the T by E article about Walmart pay? Yes. Uh, the princess of Dixie Hill. Yeah, Walmart, 90 grand, but you got to give them your phone records. Are you willing to do that? You like a truck that pays you the most. Yes. That's the key to it, right? What truck can I drive that pays me something? Not uh, I get a long nose because it looks good. Looks good doesn't pay my Duke bill, which will be uh, really high for the next couple of days, I'm sure here. Roller dogs are awesome when you're hungry and in a hurry. They're always ready for you. I actually saw them cleaning one of those one a few years ago. The grill thing. So that's really good. Well, Class B trucks are valuable. They're not as valuable as... They're just not as valuable as a Class A. You're looking, you know, in the teens an hour, probably $14, $17 an hour. It doesn't pay great. You'll outlive all of us wiener munchers, but we'll enjoy it more. Smith Transport buys Long Hood Peterbilts. They're one of the few places that get them. TMC has got some of those trucks. Have I heard of company drivers earning more for low to miles than empty? Sure. Your company did it. Yeah, companies still do that. Some of them pay different loaded and empty. I don't like it because it takes the same amount of skill and licensing to drive the truck. So they should pay the same. Go gripe at them about it. Love getting flashed for high beams that you don't have on. Yes. People blinking. I'm like, what the heck? Sometimes on a two lane, if that happens, then I hit the high beams on these LEDs. They're super bright. And people are like, oh, yikes. Sorry. There's been talk of automated trucks taking over in 10 years, 40 years maybe. The truck can't even follow the lines. It's snowy out today. The the line, lane keep thing isn't even going to be able to find the lanes on the road. No way does that happen anytime soon. Does Walmart get to see your internet search history? No. What they've asked for uh, that you have to sign is your cell phone record. So whatever the bill, basically the bill is, that's what they want. It would show your calls. That's what it should show. Just uh, can hide the ta taquitos under the nachos with the nachos under. Okay, yeah, super trucker. You can pile it all in there. Taco Bell's the same ing eight ingredients folded differently, right? Deliciousness, not sponsored by Taco Bell. <laughs> the reason drivers become independent is for freedom, and ironically, they don't get that freedom. Who has more freedom? A company driver. Easily a company driver has the most freedom. Phone records, but that's some good pay for someone. It is good pay. So is it worth it? You have to make that decision. Is the is the fact that they may ask for your phone record at some point worth working there? That's the decision because you have to agree to it up front. They make you sign it. And so it's your happens. Put on your parachute pants. I'm still, you know, do I still show on here or not? So we're 206. I still might show myself on here. So. 49, I think some people lost it. Put on my parachute pants. A CRST dispatcher took me hostage. Five of five. Yeah, so I'm still out here. So look, that is the story. That is the Walmart deal, right? They take your, they can get your phone records. Is it worth it? Give examples of a class B truck. Any straight truck is a class B truck, generally, right? A larger straight truck, tow truck. Well, no, that might be class A also. Can I answer? You'll have to post your question. I had a problem here. So overtime. Okay, so you're asking, do they have to pay overtime? They don't have to pay overtime no matter where you go. 
transportation is exempt from overtime. So they don't have to. That's why you're going to have to ask, and you'll make more money on overtime, of course. So uh, somebody, should we pay the ransom? They're qu you're questioning whether you would get me out of somewhere? Yikes. Is 45 cents good after four years? Not great. No. It would have to be some other compelling reason to uh, to keep you at 45 cents. It doesn't mean you shouldn't stay there. Maybe they get you home. Maybe you only work an hour a day. Maybe it's something else. It's insurance that you don't want to quit because you need it. It just depends. It just depends. But 45 cents, I mean, you can do 15, 20 cents more than that, which is enough to quit over. But maybe that's not worth it to you to quit. What's the feedback from Walmart drivers? They like working there. A lot of them stay. They don't seem to mind it. You know, that's how they get you. They do a little bit at a time and suddenly you don't care. So they don't mind it. Uh, Steelers, yes, we get 4,000 miles per week. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, there may be some other reason you stay. Maybe you are sick and need the insurance. Maybe they give you 12 weeks of your vacation. It just depends. How long will it be before electric trucks? <laughs> I don't think I'll see it. I won't even see it. And being in my extreme upper 30s, I got probably 40 years left to live. So it'll be beyond that before there's any significant amount of them anywhere. And it'll just be local trucks for the foreseeable future. They can't even get a car to go 300 miles on a battery. So it's going to be quite a while before they get a truck. Your phone record show 24 calls to 24 calls to dispatch. You won't answer. Nice. You should turn. You should turn your phone records in. Uh, it's not always about the money. It isn't. It isn't about the money. So is 45 low? It's low, but if if it's worth it to you, it could be worth it for some other reason. I'll accept this pay because I'm getting something else from them that you want. It depends. If the job, if you like the job, maybe it's worth it to you. You don't like lim being limited on your phone time, Ivona? Yeah, Walmart, I think it's 10 minutes, six times a day one hour of phone time, but no call can be more than 10 minutes long, okay, uh, at Walmart. And so that's part of the other thing that they're checking as well. <clears throat> Are you on the phone beyond their, you know, their regulations? Uh, extreme upper 30s, yes, Amanda, extreme upper 30s, I don't know what you're saying. The crap connection, I look, I have order right here. I don't understand it, believe me. I uh, hope they pay the bill. They... Well, they don't pay your bill. That's the thing of it. They just want to see that you're not on the phone beyond their regulations. I think it's six times, six calls per day, 10 minutes max per call. I don't know what that means about safety. They think, oh, it's just a few calls. Probably that way they can call you and you can't, that way you're not violating their policy or something like that. I'm not a fan of handing in the phone records. What if you were calling HR on one of the people there because they're mistreating you or doing something else. That person would then know that. I don't like it. Uh, you drive whatever equipment your company has. It's called being an employee. I agree. And so if you drive what they give you, and of course, if you don't like it, you can always leave. Like this phone thing. Well, it's not for me, and so then we don't work there. Sia driver, they're running the middle lane for safety. Really? So the company tells you how to drive the truck. See that? How is that safe? And who's driving this truck anyway? Uh, because Bluetooth is illegal? No, Bluetooth is right. Totally legal, right? I don't understand it. Bobtails B, you could deliver bobtails. That's another thing you could do, right? I, I don't understand this SIA thing, really. So they tell you what lane to drive. I'm going to have to find some SIA driver and ask them about that. If you really want to get away with it, you get two phone lines. Agree. and But you have to do that right from the start. So you can't, you, you need to get hired in and give them this separate, uh, this separate line immediately, right? Give them the second phone number and be done with it that way. You said double uh, eared headsets are illegal. Yes. You can't cover both ears when you're driving. They're sold at truck stops. You could listen to them on your off time or whatever. Uh, now, I may, Blue Parrot may have an excellent headset that's not double-eared, uh, he said, as well as some other brands. But uh, the single ear is all you're going to be able to use when you're driving. But you could use a double-eared one when you're not driving. Uh, two, and two bills, no 
hope you don't get caught. Yeah, you would have to just get a prepaid one that you ironically could buy at Walmart and uh, give them the number to that. You heard Sly is good. Yeah, I've heard they're an okay place to work. I didn't know about this goofy middle lane. They, they come up with so many stupid policies. I mean, it's just stupid. Do you really have drivers? They're going to make the decision that the middle lane is the safest lane? Or is it just a recommendation? Are you fired for not being in the middle lane? Or do they say it'd be better if you're in the middle lane to keep you out of the traffic flow, that kind of thing? It depends on how they present it. Or if you're required to, then, oh, they must have a camera then that records what lane you're in so that they can then fire you for violating their policy. I love it. Uh, so if you cover both ears, you, you can't be driving here. You, yeah, you can't drive anywhere here legally with both ears covered. I don't think even a car. Car, truck, nothing, right? One ear, Bluetooth it. It's certainly the way to go. How many years have we had Bluetooth now? Oh, my gosh, for tons of years. There's no reason not to have one. They're not that much money. Uh, you know, Blue Parrots are inexpensive and excellent radios, uh, you know, receivers for your phone. So, <laughs> but no, seriously, right? Get a headset, get a Bluetooth, one ear, cover it, and you got it made. If you work for Walmart, get a burn phone. You'd have to get it up front, right? Well, let's say if your phone number, how do you explain the number change? I guess you could just buy a new one and say, oh, I changed my number. I know people do that a lot. That might be not a bad idea also. Stupid rules by people that never drove a truck. Exactly. I'm sure it's somebody in there with a business degree. Oh, yeah, we should have the trucks drive in the middle. I own it. Okay, so cars also. One ear only, no matter what you're driving. Many cars have Bluetooth, which is not the greatest, but it's built in. The trucks have Bluetooth. The headsets now. There's really no dry reason to hold your phone. I see people doing it. Stop doing it. Hey, Mark, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by today. Get out of the middle if you're not allowed to use the left. That's your passing lane. If you're not flowing along, move over for people. Like here in Indiana, left, far left lane on more than two lanes, not allowed. Earplugs, a one earplug at a time. I enjoy the middle lane, but your truck is 65, so you always get another trucker blowing his horn and having a hissy fit. But it's definitely safer. You know, in big cities, it's probably better to run the middle lane just because of so many cars and trucks coming in and out. But then you hold people up. It certainly shouldn't be a policy by the company. The company has no say in how you drive the truck on the road. That's why they hire you. I'm, I'm say, You say, I'm sorry, am I the professional? Or are you driving? Who's driving this truck? Sia guy, oh, I driver and forward cameras. No, great. So they watch you and the lane and everything else. So, you know, it's got to be, now that we have a driver facing camera, for me, it's got to be a really compelling reason to work there. Really, It has to be something really great, better than most other places in the industry that don't have that camera to uh, to get me in on the camera. It's cold in Bismarck. Yeah, you wait till you get here. Uh, so we're going to be at some of the coldest temperature in the last 20 years, they said. So uh, be ready for that. That's through all of the Midwest. So get bundle up when you go outside. I, I, hey, you don't have to wear uh, flip-flops, you know, and sandals. You can actually put shoes on the next couple days. Joshua got a ticket in Michigan for the far left lane. That will happen to you in Indiana. On any road that's more than two lanes, you're not allowed to run the far left lane uh, in Indiana throughout the whole state. So you get a ticket for that. Like around Indianapolis, the bypass, three lanes, four lanes, sometimes more. No far left lane. Can't be out there. Even I-65 here, three lanes. Only the right two lanes where it's three lanes. Even to pass. Cannot go out there even to pass. <laughs> Buck runs the middle finger. Try the left lane in Atlanta. Oh, yeah, that's 600 that, and you're paying that. If you're out right, I'm sure your company would make you pay that fine. They'd say, what are you doing out there? You're driving on the WV Turnpike, West Virginia. The dairy truck doing 85. Oh, running up behind people. Yikes. How does he hold corners with dairy? I agree. You know, I think it's the butter truck that wasn't butter yet. Wow. You run the middle just easier. People can merge and pass. They don't like you can you're legal. I agree. Look, you are legal, and as long as you gotta be going at least a speed limit, okay? Let's not run less than the limit in the middle lane and hold everybody up, right? So if anybody uh passes you, they're speedings, right? Do I wear glasses or do I have good eyesight? I am basically blind. No. 
Okay, so I will wear glasses to drive uh, and to read. Uh, and they're super cool. Uh, you love driving fast. Speed limits are a suggestion. In my car, you know, 75 out here. What if, remember, tickets in your car go against your license. So try not to get tickets. What if two trucks are holding the two right lanes going 63? They should be taken out of their trucks and beat mercil mercilessly with a tire, Billy, for doing that. It's ridiculous. Why are you going to pass? You can't slow down a little bit. Oh, I'm going a quarter mile an hour faster than this truck. I'm just going to go cruise past this person. Uh, yeah, Ivona, we're going 85 in the milk truck. Is that crazy? On the West Virginia Pike? Holy moly. Uh, you've had a lot of luck in Indy. been running 65 and had uh, cooks and troopers. Oh, chefs, right? Presumably chefs run by you very early. They don't seem to bother people at 65. I have that forward radar on the truck like a lot of Cascadias do, and it gives me the speed of the vehicle in front of me. And I've seen 109 from cars. They'll pass me and come back over 109. And uh, they're just cruising right along. So you like to drive fast in a semi, at least you can get somewhere, right? Have most companies changed or changing the governor range? Because some states you can go 70. Some have bumped you to 68, 70. I don't see too many company trucks going faster than that. But some of them are giving you a few more miles an hour. Nice Indiana is 55. No, 65 for trucks in most of Indiana. Other than through town, like Indy's 55, that kind of thing. Highway 65. And Josh, like anyone goes 55, yeah. We all go 65. That's correct. But it's 65 uh, most of the time. Even where it's 55, everybody goes at least 65. You were in a Honda, couldn't hang with them. It's crazy. When I go back up home to a Hammond, Indiana, I have to cross 8094. And we've been out there in a car going 8590 and getting passed. I'm like, how fast do you have to go to keep up with traffic out here? Joshua, you'd go 70 if you could. It truck should be set faster. Does anyone know about Pride, Salt Lake City? Anybody out there from Pride? You were racing 90 truck on 80. Yeah, that's not racing. That's just driving. Roger Penske, uh, trucks are together and one is passing very slowly. If you're the guy in the right-hand line, you'll tap your brakes. Not everybody does that, unfortunately. And so these two goobers sit there, as you well know, mile after mile after mile, barely creep. And then there's a hill. And so then the guy on the right's a little lighter. And so then he creeps back up. It's just ridiculous. Werner is 68. Yeah, they just raised their speed limit. And that place I talked to on Friday, Red Classic, they're also 68. So I thought that was pretty interesting. 65 is top at J.B. Hunt. That's the same for me. 65, that's most places. I would say 75% of company trucks are probably 65. Last company had no governor. That's really something. Boy, I'd really like to see uh, I would really like to see that place. We don't want to, uh, you know, even in your car, though, remember, that ticket can count against you. Oh, Ivona gets three miles an hour on everybody at 68. That's even better. The faster you go, the more you make. Right, I've talked about that. Everybody has the same amount of time. So you want to put down the most miles that you can put down in that amount of time. Now, as I wrap up to head to work, I want to say, everybody, it's going to be cold. Leave your truck running the next few days. We're expecting 14 below zero with wind chills of 40 below zero in the next three days here in Indiana, starting tomorrow. And if you're in any of that, please leave the truck running. Turn the idle up. Put anti-gel in the tanks. Check out my video about making winter windshield washer fluid and do that today before it gets cold. It's much easier to keep it flowing than have it freeze up. You know, so do all that and get ready for this coldest uh, weather that we've seen. So uh, I want everybody to be safe. I want to thank everybody for coming in as uh, always. I'm always very humbled and surprised that anybody comes in. So I do thank everybody for coming, and I am going to head out and see how it is. Tonight should be much better than uh, than it will be in the next few days, but at least it's not going to snow. So I'm going to head out of here. One of the sensors is broken. If you plug it, the grill only works and mislead the engine. Oh, that's great because it's electronic. Right, that's got to be fixed, right? Don't sleep in your truck if it's cold and it doesn't work. Please get a motel. It's too 
too cold. Don't let them bamboozle you. 14 below you will freeze to death in the truck, right? Eric, I appreciate that very much. Sam, thanks for coming in. Al, thanks for being here. Ivona, I appreciate you being on the show every week and keeping the uh, the uh, chat clean. I do appreciate it very much, believe me. And uh, Josh, yeah, for your company, you would do anything. So uh, I'm headed out, but thank you for coming in. And there'll be more here. It's no sacrifice, believe me. I, I appreciate you all coming here on the show. Believe me, believe me, I do. Be safe in the cold weather. I will see you all soon. Thanks for coming in.